I never been this faded before. I drink and smoke all by myself. I'm antisocial, nigga. Ooh, I never had a hoe that fucked me before. Like this little hoe, I think I keep her to myself, my nigga. Ooh, my nigga call me with the troll for the low. I need to go and get that bread and count that bone, my nigga. Ooh, I know you never heard this shit here before. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the T the Fucking Man podcast. Got boss man, got Sean Dunn in this bitch. Uh, what you guys want to start today? Y'all want to start with a little boost against shot? What's, what, 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 what's going on in Texas? Shit, finna, <laughs> finna be shot. mayhem. <laughs> Nigga, the butcher got shot in Houston. Nigga, that shit was so wild to me. <laughs> man, look here. Dallas finna turn into a motherfucking war zone. Dallas, well, it's already a war zone. They just now shooting famous people. Man, nigga, big big T big T's caught on fire. Oh, you talking about this hair salon? Caught on fire. You talking it, about Yellow Bees at uh, Baby Mama hair salon? No, not no. the hair salon. Big T's like the little, the boutique like spot where they sell the, the real the real designer, the fake designer, anything you want you can get from Big T's. That's where Boosie got shot. Yes, sir. And it's supposedly caught on fire. They say Yellow Bees at motherfucking Baby Mama House Salon got caught on fire. Shit, Trap Boy Fred and Mama House got shot up. And his brother house. This nigga ugly. This nigga ugly in Dallas, man. Supposedly. Yeah, man, I was talking to a bitch last night talking about I need to come visit her in Dallas. Hell no. <laughs> it's a war zone out there. Hold on, there. bitch. What side of town you stay on, bitch? Man, look. I ain't, I ain't, got, I ain't got nothing against Dallas people and how they move. But you fuck with a certified stepper. He don't want that chain for nothing. Are you talking about Boosie? Yes. He don't, listen, listen, look, he don't dog. want that certified stepper chain look, for nothing. When I, when I read that article, I say, look, dog. Whoever shot that bitch up, I respect your gangster. But at the same time, you could have waited till Boosie left. This, 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 <laughs> this, 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 this why I didn't respect it. Because, nigga, the thing, the, here's why I say I respect it. Because of course this shit different. We ain't do no type of shit like this. But yeah. these young niggas, man, they shooting up the funeral. They shooting up the 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 the, the candle lighting. Hey man, and if you out there and you out there showing love to this nigga, use a op. Right, right. That's, that's the rules now. Uh, okay, I'm with y'all on that. But y'all could have waited till Boosie left. It this this what it was though. After I after I went back and I read the article, it's it's not that I don't respect it. I respect what they did. But you did it wrong. You had one shot. This boosted. You had one shot. You had, they say three cars. Three cars shot at him. And you only get hit in the leg. So look, let me ask you this. Three Cause, cars cause shot I, and you I couldn't finish him? I don't think that they went there trying to shoot boosted. That's fucking stupid. Man, man was just on live talking about he he in double digits. He, and he that's what he say. I'm in double digits. If you know what that means, then yeah. That's exactly what Booster said. I'm in double digits. Ain't yeah, too many man. people in double digits. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you gonna miss? Like nigga, all them, all them, all that money young boy putting on niggas' head, man, he think he boosted. For real. <laughs> For <laughs> them real. Niggas, them niggas get that shit from Booster. No. It ain't no coming. And no, no, look. nothing against them Texas niggas, but niggas is not stepping like Louisiana niggas. See, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't look at it like that. See, when niggas be talking about, uh, oh, I'm from this place and this place, look here, dog. Just like them niggas in Chirac. You niggas, you niggas is super soldiers in Chicago. You can take your ass to L.A. and think you can move like that. Look, man, you can go, but nigga, you can go to Wisconsin and get your fucking head blew off, nigga. Like, so all that, I'm from here and all that shit, that don't mean nothing. To me, that don't mean a goddamn but thing. Even if. And I'm from Louisiana. I know even some grimy niggas. I don't know too many niggas stepping like Boosie, period. It's a nigga stepping harder than Boosie. We just don't know who he is. You right. You right. It might be that nigga that shot Boosie in the fucking leg. Because, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I, just me, when I read that shit, I'm looking at that shit. I say, look, dog, I understand what was going on. But if I would have pulled up to light that bitch up and I seen Boosie, hold on, fellas. <laughs> you 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 guys hungry or something? We can take thirty minute break and wait till this nigga leave. You feel me? Because just based off this nigga history, this ain't somebody you want to do this with. And the nigga, the nigga, money longer than it's ever been. 
You back, ain't lying. When, back when he was playing with them hundreds of thousands, that's one th man. The nigga got millions now, nigga. Nigga can get your whole side of town shot up, nigga. And boosted boosted rep worldwide, like his rep up there. Like niggas love boosted in New York, Baltimore. They love boosted worldwide. And that's what the other thing I was saying. Niggas was talking about security, this and all that. Man, Boosie don't move like that. Hell no. Boosie don't move like that. So them niggas, them, what, them niggas did that shit. I already know Boosie was sitting in the hospital like, I. Right. Man, y'all already killed my nigga. Boosie ain't really, Boosie ain't really been on social media since that shit happened. Cause he out here lining shit up. <laughs> Straight that like nigga that. laying like, low for a reason. You fucking with a nigga. This. At least 15 years deep in this type of shit. Man, this nigga say this nigga got on live. Say nigga, I'm in double digits. Yeah, man. That nigga say ain't too many people in double digits still living. Y'all boy really wanna do that? Cause Boosie, and that's another thing I said too. Boosie one of them niggas. Most niggas like Boosie, they call me eventually catch up to him. I don't never see Boosie Karma catching up to him. Boosie gonna die of natural causes. Man. <laughs> like straight up. Man, Boosie boost the same nigga told his homeboy, cause I watched that nigga. That nigga said, man, I'm finna kill my brother. You know what I do to one of you niggas? You know what I do to one of y'all niggas? That nigga told his homeboy that shit. Man. <laughs> the Boosie the shit didn't surprise me like the Benny the Butcher shit, though. Nah, boost, the Boosie shit didn't surprise me. But, like I said, you niggas had one shot and you missed. That's the, my whole thing. Like, I don't think they were trying to shoot Boosie. I think they were just shooting the, the spot up. Don't shoot the wrong person in the process. That's what I said. If I'd have pulled up and I'd been like, that badass out there. Hold on, guys. You guys want to go get Chick-fil-A or something? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you damn, you, nigga, you damn near got to move for an accident you made. Yeah, man. Like, because that, cause that's really what it is. Because, nigga, I don't give a fuck how hard a nigga say he is, man. You accidentally shoot somebody like that, you worried. You worried. Calculating the, the risk of, I know I'm gonna go do this to this person. You you you've accounted for the old shit. Shooting somebody you had no intention on shooting come with consequences and repercussions you ain't even put into the nigga, bag. Nigga, all right, like let's say let's say nigga shoot a spot up and the word get back. Hey man, you shot an innocent bystander. Oh yeah, man, who was it? It was Boosie. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> man, come on, bro. That was stupid as hell. Like if they I, I if they seen Boosie and still did it, that was stupid as fuck. But like the nigga, like uh, I want to know who was with Benny the Butcher when he got robbed, cause y'all man niggas be talking that hot shit. So why was Benny the Butcher at Walmart? Why were you out like? Man, what man? You know everybody go to Walmart. Yeah, everybody, everybody go to Walmart. Yeah, like I wasn't surprised he was at Walmart. Everybody hit Walmart. Facts. But, but like. Was was Benny in the car? Was Benny out the car? Was he standing out like? Yeah, I think he was standing outside of the car. Damn, I forgot what the article said. Like the nigga, the nigga was standing outside of the car. Or something, some nigga just walked up. Like no, no, no. They were sitting in the car. They say that they say Benny was sitting in the car. Like him and a couple of his partner, they were sitting in the car, or whatever. I don't even think he went in Walmart. I think somebody else was in Walmart. and They were waiting on them in the car. So nigga, they were sitting in the car, and a, and a car pulled up on the side of them, and like three, four niggas jumped out with guns and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I guess Benny them wasn't moving fast enough, so he shot Benny in the leg. Then they took off running. See, shit like that. Maybe based on my own experience, I be calling these niggas stupid all the time. Nigga, if you go, if you came to rob Benny the Butcher, right? You know, out the gate, anything goes. I can get shot. I might have to shoot him. Anything. You shoot the nigga, right? And you take off running, you don't get nothing? Why you blow? I was in. You just got in a lot of trouble for nothing. I was in a situation one time. I ain't going to give no details. I'm going to just say this. Somebody in that clique was so mad at them niggas. Because, nigga, we went, we went to go hit this motherfucking lick. We had, a, we had a plan. We had everything together. The pressure turned on and you fuck nigga dropped the ball. Now we ain't getting nothing. <laughs> we didn't even come here for this. We didn't come here to shoot Benny. We came here to rob Benny. And then, like, nigga, the whole, the, the steps of shit. You mean to tell me you shot Benny before you smacked him with the gun? You should have hit him with the gun first. And then, look, man, 
I ain't gonna hit you with this gun next time. I'm gonna shoot your bitch ass. Come up off it, man. <laughs> nigga panic. You go sh panic. Nigga exactly. A <laughs> uh, nigga panicked, and you fucked up every. I'm gonna beat the shit out you when we get home. <laughs> <laughs> Cause nigga, if I'd have known you were finna do some fuck ass shit like that, I never went. I'd have never would have went with you, nigga. That ain't what we agreed to. You done fucked up everything, nigga. Cause you want to panic when the pressure on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat your ass when we get home. Nigga, we ain't get nothing. We ain't get a goddamn thing but some fucking bad publicity. Man, that like going to work for two weeks and then don't get a paycheck. Like nigga, that's stupid as hell. <laughs> so I want to know, and, and I want to know who was with Benny the Butcher. To watch these niggas run off. You can't you can't shoot the money man and then just run off. Bitch, I gotta shoot one of y'all. Man, I ain't shoot back nothing. Yeah. Like nigga, this is the dog. Listen, too much been going on with rappers, man. You man, can't be moving much. like that. And that's and that's a that's another thing of it. Too much been going on with rappers. Like that shit crazy. And that Boys and girls, July need more than thirty six grand. Oh yeah, for, for the weed, for, for rolling the weed. Uh, yeah, you see, that, yeah. that's why I need more than thirty six. Yeah, I can be with you and nigga, some rapper shit pop off. I need more yeah. than thirty six. Like nigga, didn't nobody shoot back at the niggas? No nothing. Niggas just they say shit after they after the, after the uh the attackers took off running, the, the fucking victims took off running. But see, that's why. That's why. I don't, and I don't know I don't know how rappers move in their entourage and shit like that. But real street niggas, they don't really they entourage be they street niggas from the block. Like them niggas mm -hmm. they know gonna shoot back. You just can't have niggas around you cause shit like that pop off. Man, niggas shouldn't have been I be looking at it like this. Like I like the last podcast nigga put out Sunday with, with the nigga core. Yeah. Niggas gotta first of all you got to take accountability for everything that's going on. For sure. It's all, you got to take accountability for your shit. So at the end of the day, Benny the Butcher put himself in a position to get robbed. And for sure. Sure. If you ask him about that, that'll be the first thing to come out of his mouth. Hell you put yeah. yourself in a position to be robbed, my nigga, because look, you knew you weren't going in Walmart. You knew you was right. You know what I'm saying? They going to Walmart or whatever. You probably was riding or whatever. Yeah. You, knew, you knew you ain't want to go in Walmart. So nigga... I put it like this. I'd rather be in Walmart than in the parking lot if I'm been in the butcher. Hell yeah. In the parking lot, you asking for something. You just sitting out in the parking lot like shit cool. You not from here. You don't really know nobody here. You just sitting out here like shit cool like ain't nobody going to be like, hey man, that's one of them Griselda niggas. We finna rob him. I bet I bet the motherfuckers was riding by, seen him sitting in the car, left and came back. Hell yeah. So these niggas be putting themselves in position to get, to get fucked over. Like, the nigga, the nigga probably in Walmart parking lot Got all the jewels on. Yeah, you out there shining, shining nigga. Like you in bitch. your phone. You standing out the car, probably smoking a Joe, jeweled up. Like shit sweet. And Chilling it's not. like a motherfucker. In the middle of a pandemic when niggas broke. Man, you <laughs> everybody done lost their jaw. Nigga broke his head. Lacking. Nigga out here in the parking lot. Lacking like a motherfucker. <laughs> Niggas be lacking, uh, man. That just like that just like when I was uh, talking to Cora and shit. He was like, oh man, you can't you can't look at it like that bullshit. I love my nigga to death and I miss him. Nipsey put himself in position to get killed too. Just so, just so motherfuckers can't say I'm being biased. All these niggas putting their self. Think about this. Think about Nipsey's situation because this always bothered me. A nigga walked up. If I tell a nigga, hey man, you can't be around here. You's a motherfucking snitch. Nigga, get the fuck from around here. Knowing these niggas is Carl Thomas ass emotional niggas. Gotta be ready for what comes. You with mean that. to tell me I could tell that nigga that I know I hurt his feelings? He can walk away and walk back up. You got me fucked up. He could just walk back up and shoot a nigga. You got me fucked up. If I'd have told that nigga he was a motherfucking snitch, hey man, I need a gunman over here. I need a gunman over here. Cause if you still want to stand out there, cool. But you niggas let the niggas walk up. You shaking their hands and shit. And you just fucking. You just hurt his feelings. Hell no. That, any, that nigga. Yo, yo, let, hold on. I don't mean to say this, but let me say. Y'all better watch out for these niggas who feelings y'all hurting out here. <laughs> hey. Hold on. Hey, I gotta take this call hey, real quick. Hey, real shit. Hey, Cause niggas get their feelings hurt and, and hold on to that shit forever. Hey, nigga nigga, nigga will hate you for years for you hurting their feelings one day. I'm talking about one. Just this one situation. 
you didn't give him the information that he wanted to hear. The nigga waiting on a chance to get you back. Nigga for years. For real. <laughs> nigga will hold on to that shit forever to get you back. Man. Man, what? And I, the the opportunity presents itself. Man, I remember that time. That nigga such and such and such. That's all it took. That one that one time to get his feelings hurt. That 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 bitty nigga that kill you. It never fails. Niggas better get their shit together. You want to fuck around with the fuck around? Man, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't fuck around with the fuck around, man. Look, cause they, that, that, that shit don't leave niggas. Look, I was, I was talking that shit, I was talking to Corey about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, that's why I don't fuck with a lot of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know me. When I speak, I speak like a motherfucking man. I'm a, a I'm gonna say shooter. what I want. Oh, yeah, I'm a straight shooter. Man, cause you might hurt a nigga feelings. These niggas, these niggas be emotional than a motherfucker. Man, like I was telling boss man when you stepped out, man, niggas hold that shit for years. Nigga, man, nigga, a nigga hate you for a whole motherfucking decade because you told that nigga some real shit. And looking for that one chance to get back. And he, the nigga, whenever he can get back at you, whenever he can get back at you, like niggas do little flaw ass, snake ass shit. Like nigga, nigga be, nigga be trying to fuck your baby mama, nigga be trying to. You know what I'm saying? Just throwing Real salt shit. on your name. Anything so they can try to get one up on you. All because you said something hurt this nigga feelings. And if a nigga got to kill you for that to be his one up on you, he'll do it. On my mama, nigga. On my mama. Look, me, me and that nigga Corey were talking about that shit. Look, if a nigga, if a nigga jealous of you in any kind of way, you get the fuck away from that nigga. Man, because, because at the end of the day, whatever you accumulating out here is off your work and off God's plan. It's for you. You see what I'm saying? That nigga can for hate. Real. That nigga can hate on you all day. That nigga can copy your exact format. That don't mean it's gonna work for him. And uh, and and when that nigga realized it, when that nigga realized, like, damn, cuz no matter what I do, I can't be this nigga. The only thing I can do is get rid of this nigga. Man, bro, I used to, <laughs> I used to sit there when niggas used to be jealous and hating and shit. I used to always have that. I ain't worried about them niggas type attitude. Until Ti dropped that song, you was supposed to make it, and he was talking about Dobie. And the niggas wouldn't get in the club. Don't be one let the niggas in the club. Mm -hmm. Don't be saying worry about them little niggas. Man, T, I was like, man, them the same little hating ass nigga probably took him out. Mm -hmm. Like real shit. Like nigga, look, remember, remember, uh, week before last when uh, when y'all came through this motherfucker, or oh, what's that you came through here? And I was telling you about the motherfucking dude I was just on the phone with. Yeah. Nah, we was talking on the phone. I was telling you, man, I just had to die. Yeah. I thought I finna cuss a nigga out on the phone before yeah. you called. And nigga, look, I ain't do nothing to the nigga. Right. I'm on the phone showing love, but I can, I can, I can hear and feel his energy through the phone. I don't want that around me. Hell so nigga, no. guess what? Everything we had planned for the day, we supposed to be doing this and doing that. No, nah, cuz I don't want you around. Nigga, keep on texting me, man. Send the location. I'm finna come through. No, you not. Your energy off, and you ain't finna bring that shit around me. Man, look, that energy. You probably really don't fuck with a nigga for real. Hell no. You got, you can't. You got an attitude with me for nothing. I ain't did nothing to you. Nigga, we trying to talk business. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell no, nah, nigga. Like, but yeah, like, that why I don't fuck with a lot of niggas, man. Because shit, I done got in fights with niggas. I done had problems with niggas. Man, shit, niggas being in their feelings got me jumped. Real shit. That one time I got jumped, it wasn't, it, wasn't because, it wasn't because I was lying on a nigga. It wasn't because I was saying some shit that wasn't true. It's because I said some shit and niggas got in their feelings. Hey, boy. One thing about it, cuz. Everybody wants you to be real with them, but everybody can't. People don't like the truth. They want the truth, but they don't like the truth. Man, look, I was explaining this shit. I was explaining this to my homegirl. I say, nigga, it's a billion different motherfucking definitions of truth, of 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 real now. For e real. Everybody and their mama got their own definition of the word real. Ain't none of it. Ain't none of it on one accord, nigga. And I hate it. Everybody, everybody, everybody manipulate that real shit based on. How they want to use it. Man, you had the most lionest nigga in the world. Nigga, that nigga don't nigga don't don't tell nothing real about him, but the nigga probably will knock you out. He real. No, he ain't. Yeah. Nigga can, nigga can fight. Yeah. Nigga ain't real though. That don't mean the nigga real. But yeah, nigga, we got the rambling and shit. Nigga, <laughs> y'all don't be out here. Look, if a nigga, if if you got a nigga around you 
and you always got to be saying something to them and correcting them and the motherfucker don't be listening motherfucker be having an attitude with you and all that shit and you know you telling this motherfucker the right shit get away from that motherfucker because you hurting their feelings <laughs> you hurting their feelings i'm really? telling you i stopped fucking with a lot of like the nigga that told me oh man you think you better than folks now oh no your feelings hurt i done told you some real shit and your feelings hurt now i think i'm better than you when me and you both know that me and you have been in the same motherfucking position nigga sleeping in the car together selling drugs together doing fucked up out here doing, man, and, and, and nigga, it, it, it now, normally now, be them and now that i'm telling you to do the shit that worked for me i think i'm better than you man it normally be the people you was in the mud with but the thing is bro we got the same 24 hours in a day we was in a struggle together because I use my 24 hours different than you. You can't be mad at me for that. And look, nigga, man, like I say all the time, I always talk about this. Boss man done been there. Man, because boss man done seen niggas make money. Niggas go, niggas go hit a lick, go get some. And the other nigga go blow that shit. I swear to God, everything I ever got went into this. Real shit. What I'm sitting here doing right now, the way I live right now, everything I was doing back then went into this, man. And like niggas was sitting there, oh man, cub tripping. No, you tripping. I can see 10 years from now. I can see five years from now. You think this shit here gonna last for you? You wanna hit licks forever. You wanna sell crack forever. You wanna do all that fuck shit forever. Then when I tell you, hey man, we 30. That's that bullshit. You want some fuck nigga shit. You really acting like a bitch. Get out your mama house. All that shit. Now your feelings hurt. You will kill me for saying that. Your feelings are hurt. You will kill me. That's why I can't be around you, man. Fuck all that. That shit, that shit be real. Don't be out here hurting these nigga feelings. Man, that energy a motherfucker. Don't be out here hurting these nigga feelings, boy. Real nigga shit. Like back on the rapper shit though. Like uh, I want to talk about record labels, rappers, and insurance policies. Cause motherfuckers, motherfuckers don't realize what's going on. If I if I go sign a, 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 a King Von, because this is what the record labels do. This is what motherfuckers don't know. Here's the reason why. Here, here, here's the here's the reason why a Mr. T has never I've been I've been approached by record labels, but here's why they never wanna they never wanna really do nothing with me. Cause I ain't no dumb nigga. You see what I'm saying? Because they do research on you. They do research on you. They go check your name. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like a Shreveport, Louisiana. If a big record label want to know something about you, like a Puff Daddy. If Puff Daddy want to know something about you, where you from? He from Shreveport? All right, who the big dog in Shreveport? All right, let me call baby and ask about this nigga. Straight up. They do their research on you first. For oh, sure yeah. That. He really one of them niggas? He stepping like that for real? He got woo doo doo bodies and all that shit? He really living like that? The music straight. You know what I'm saying? They ain't signing niggas because of the music. Well, that, some of these niggas not getting signed because of the music. They do your research on you. They know you're a real stepper. They know it's a good chance you got beef out here everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They throw you a little money, but not enough money for you to leave your city. <laughs> they ain't, they ain't going to give you enough money to get away from that beef you got. They going to give you just enough so you can shine on them niggas. And make somebody want to And come make them get niggas mad and hurt their feelings. I'm just talking about hurting these niggas' feelings. They're going to give you enough money to go get you a chain, a cool little car that you can lease. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to give you enough money to get no house. That's, that's, that's a whole nother conversation, though. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to never get no mo enough money to go get you no house. Man. They want you to still stay in the jacks. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, they do their research on you. They find out you're a real stepper. They give you a little money. You still stuck in your city. They are betting. On your ass getting smoked. And here's why. Because most niggas don't read their record deals. They not going to give you $5 million in your hand. They going to put a $5 million insurance policy on your ass. They waiting on you to die. Because <laughs> you realize if you, if you do any kind of business with somebody, you can legally put an insurance policy on anybody you're doing business with. Yeah, they, 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 they pretty much is... Yo, 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 business guardian type shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if they if they take you and put you on their roster, you pretty much belong to them. You contractually tied in with them. So what they do is like a King Von. I'm willing to bet money they had insurance policy on him. Whatever label, because they say he was independent, but he was signed to somebody. He was signed to Lil Dirk, I think. 
I bet they had insurance policy on him. You know what I'm saying? But what well, basically what I'm trying to talk about is y'all rap niggas need to know this. Like them folk, them folks not fucking with y'all like that. Like these niggas be thinking that these record labels fucking with them. No, my nigga, they they'll give you fifty thousand dollars to sign you, right? But they'll put five million dollars on your motherfucking flesh in the back end. Nigga, they gonna make more money. Like like nigga, they really they literally make more money when you dead. They make more money off you when you die. Most rappers don't even know what's in their contracts. They don't read it. That's why. That's why. That's why half of them never own their masters. That's just like like the situation with the Migos and shit. Them niggas go in there and get the same lawyers as the motherfucking label. That's stupid as fuck. That's how I know you ain't read your contract. Hell no. Like nigga, that shit be motherfucking crazy. But nigga, I was explaining this to somebody. It was like, no, nah, I don't think. Man, I'm with like dog. They putting they putting insurance policies on these rappers. A motherfucking uh. A motherfucking uh a King Von or you notice look 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 prime example back to this nigga Nipsey. Nipsey been moving like that his whole career. Yeah. Out on the block. Everybody everybody's always been able to put hands on Nipsey. They have always been able to touch him in LA. Soon as he do the deal with Atlantic, he get killed. Now I ain't saying they lined him up, even though I feel like that shit was way deeper than what it was. But as soon as soon as as soon as Nipsey, you know what I'm saying, get killed, you got niggas like Jay Z uh selling merch, like marathon merch with the little airplane on it. You know what I'm saying? Just shit like I don't want to start rambling again, but just little shit like that. I be thinking about that shit all the time. I be like, bro, it's a reason why it's basically what I'm saying, it's a reason why a lot of a lot of the Niggas in y'all city that's so talented, you be like, man, why they ain't put you on yet? Cause they can't play with a nigga like that. And bro, you seen you seen how many followers? It's crazy. King Von got over a million followers in like a day. Man, that nigga, uh, he dead. Like, why Mo three, Mo three got like two. The day that they announced he died, the nigga that went that first day, his followers went up like two hundred thousand. I was oh, like, like, that shit weird. Yeah. That shit weird as fuck. They, they dead. They not finna tweet no more. But like he just said, man, you that you worth more dead than you are alive. Like that nigga, that shit is crazy. Cause nigga, they finna keep making money off these people once they die. The good thing about Mo three is is he owned his masters, so his kids and shit straight. Yeah, King Von, King Von too, cause he was signed with Empire. Yeah, but man, y'all y'all need to be careful with these motherfucking labels and them crooked ass white boys in them tall buildings. They don't fuck with y'all. Man, that you they say they say if you want to keep something from a black person, put it in a book. A contract just as good as a book. Shit, is, niggas don't want to read. That's all it is. You ain't even got to put it in a book no more, nigga. That shit can be on the phone. Nigga won't read it on the phone. For real, they but 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 my whole my whole motherfucking uh, like I be telling my nigga envy all the time. I don't think niggas can read. It's a it's a whole lot of niggas out here that can't read, like real shit. Niggas can read, niggas can't comprehend. That's true too. That's, that's the thing. Like that's bitches though. Like bitches, I be dealing <laughs> with. They hear me, but they can't comprehend what I'm saying. It's 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 one thing to be able to look at the look at the words and be able to read. It's a whole another thing to kind of make it make sense in your mind, man. Like. I don't know, like, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. Niggas is stupid. <laughs> niggas is stupid. <laughs> like, straight up. Like, real nigga shit. Niggas stupid in the motherfucker. But yeah, man, that, like, that, that insurance policy shit, man, y'all, that shit real. Just know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying, because I know niggas be hurting in the hood and shit. They need that money. I ain't saying don't, don't, don't take that money. But just know it's a good chance that they betting on your ass to get killed. Like, real nigga shit. They betting on your ass to get killed. For real. That's why the record labels. That's why. Cause think about it. If you if you was to sign a nigga and you knew he was dangerous, he beefing and all this shit. You ain't gonna give him enough money to move out of his hometown, go get a house somewhere. You ain't gonna get a nigga. You ain't gonna get a nigga no security team. Cause shit, at one point you wouldn't sign a nigga because of that. Like nigga, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna get that nigga away from all the problems he got going in his city. Like that's why all these niggas be getting killed in their own city. Cause at one point it was if a nigga had too much going on, you weren't gonna sign. Yeah, that's true too. At one point, not now that's what they that's what they putting out there. And then like when um when Von Manager was talking, nigga was like shit. Everybody I signed living like that. 
And that shit, and look, that King Von did, uh, Melly, one of his artists, this nigga in jail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just, man, I'm just getting old. I don't even want to be around no niggas like that. Like, real shit. Like, like when I was telling you about the dude that I was on the phone with before, I called, before you called me that day. Like, bro, this my nigga. We cool than a motherfucker. But, like, if that's the energy you want, I ain't fucking with you, cuz. Straight up. I ain't fucking with that shit. I don't want that shit around me, nigga. Real shit. Because I, I definitely, and the reason why I be picky about who I be around with, part of it is the whole energy thing and all that. I know me, though. I know I'll slap a nigga. So I don't, I don't even want to put myself in a position to even get no trouble, no nothing. Like, fuck all that shit. But yeah, man, all y'all upcoming rappers, man, don't let no motherfucking record label put no insurance policy on you. Because they might get you killed and everything. Like if you ain't set, oh you, you ain't bringing that money in. I bet they got a ten million dollar life insurance policy on six nine. They probably got a fifty million dollar life insurance policy on this nigga. Hell yeah, they waiting on that bag. I like watch, they gonna line him up. I don't, and you, if you notice, he ain't been on social media lately like that. Whatever he working on, if that shit don't work, it's time to get this nigga knocked off. For real, because they he, got too much money put into it. Like real shit. And yeah, the reason, and the reason, and, the and a shit. lot of the reason why you don't see the nigga that much no more is because of that budget weighing down. Like I was saying, yeah. that budget weighing down, he can't have all that security like he had at first. He ain't got enough money to have all that security. Hell no, nah, bro. When they got into that shit, they spending money, or they they offer what they offer Dirk like three mil. Yeah, the beef with the nigga to yeah, go back and forth with the nigga. I'm like, man, yeah, like that. That's wasting money. So if he if he don't cash in, shit. If they willing to pay a nigga $3 million to go back to troll with a nigga dog, imagine how much money they putting into this nigga. Real shit. I would have took the three mil though. <laughs> Real <laughs> shit. Like nigga. Like, like, like you were saying earlier about this nigga 50 talking about Lil Wayne. Talking about some, uh, I seen them on the breakfast club talking about, yeah, man, uh, 2017, Donald Trump knew and tried to offer me a million dollars. I, I turned it down. I think Wayne took the money though. I'd have took the money too. Yeah. Nigga, I'd have took the money, endorsed this nigga on TV, turned around, went and voted for Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> for real. All I got to do is act like I'm fucking with this nigga, man. Man, that's it. Shit. Take the little picture like he took. Yeah, take a picture with him, then shit. Go vote for Joe Biden. Appreciate the million. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Like, like, nigga, that go back to what I was saying earlier about the different definitions of real. Niggas be want to be too real. That's too real for me. That's too real. Like, nigga, I know this, this cracker don't give a fuck about me. I'm going to play him like he trying to play me. This picture costs you a million dollars. <laughs> Straight up. You want a photo op? All right, a million dollars. I'm going to say I endorsed you, then I'm going to turn around and go vote for Joe Biden. Real shit. That don't mean I got to vote for you. Yeah, I don't have to vote for you. Shit. Fuck all that, nigga. Nigga, you paid me for my services. Yeah. I, I did that. I held up my end of the bargain. A million dollars for a photo? I'll take it. Shit. Straight like that. Uh, shit. The motherfucking judge in, uh, you know, that 2018 rape case Russell Simmons had? The ju judge and threw that bitch out. Oh, so we're going to see, uh, we're going to see Russell coming back to the state? I'm going, going back, back <laughs> to Cali. That nigga come back to Cali. If I don't think he should come home though, I I think it's a setup. I think I think it's as soon as I seen that shit, I say, man, they trying to get this nigga to come home. They trying <laughs> they trying to trick this nigga, man. They trying to get him to put that blunt down. He's smoking with Tupac. Come on home, so we can line your ass up, nigga. <laughs> nigga, it's going down in a major way Thursday. Y'all ain't hurt. Y'all ain't hurt. What's wrong? Nigga, Jeezy battling Gucci Mane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nigga. I'm rolling with I ain't, Snowman. Nigga, I done canceled all the studio sessions for Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing nothing Thursday, nigga. Y'all speak on that real quick. Matter of fact, we're going to take a break real quick. I'm going to take that phone call. What if I told you that the Lumberjacks are coming back to Spring Hill, Louisiana, but as a semi-professional football team? 
Hi, I'm Holland Witherspoon, president and founder of the North Louisiana Football Alliance. You can find out more by visiting us at our website at www.nlfafootball.com. I thought you was going to pick that up. But yeah, man, back on this motherfucking Gucci Man and Young Jeezy, boy. I got to see that shit. Did you see what when Gucci Man posted it on Instagram? I, I've seen screenshots of it. Man, that nigga, that nigga Gucci say. <laughs> that nigga said, Big Goo Wop against the Snow Cone. I said, oh, they going to be lit in that bitch. Nigga, they might fight in that bitch. That nigga, uh, and then Jeezy came back. What he called him? Lil, Lil something. He called him Lil Goo Wop. Yeah. Say yeah, and don't bring your clone, nigga. <laughs> I say yeah, these nigga, these nigga finna get on these some whole other with shit. shit. That shit gonna be real sportsmanship like until them diss songs come out. Hey man, when Guwap dropped the song, tell Jeezy to dig his partner up. It's gonna get real in that bitch. Nigga show was like uh, niggas seeing niggas say uh, hey, what what Gucci man gonna do if uh Jeezy play that uh stay strapped. He can't play it. That's the same thing I said. I said <laughs> dog, what if he could? What if he could play Stay Strap? <laughs> nigga gonna set that bitch on fire. That you got should, to. That should be so motherfucking lit if a nigga could play Stay Strap. On oh, my mama, nigga. But yeah, that shit gonna be lit, nigga. I ain't, I'm canceling everything Thursday, nigga. I'm preparing all day for that motherfucking battle. I gotta see that shit, and I got my money on motherfucking Snowman. Oh yeah, I got my money. Because his money, just, so. I mean, his music just hit different. It just hit my soul a little different. I fuck y'all know I fuck with Goo Wop. But and another thing I was wondering too, which one of them niggas gonna play so icy first? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can I can easily see them just just open up with so icy. Let's go ahead and get so icy out the way since we both on so icy. Cause nigga, I can see Snowman being cool in there. Goo Wop ain't got no chill. He gonna be on that fucking Hell Goo no. gonna be on that nigga shit and I'm gonna be loving it. <laughs> Goo Wop gonna be on that nigga shit. I, Cause nigga, the first slur. Who throwing the first slur? Goo Wop throwing the first sure. slur. That's, that's what I <laughs> You know how long you know how long it took it, it probably took them to get to get Wop to fucking agree to this. But see the thing is though, cause Goo Wop was talking shit for weeks. Cause I remember Goo Wop came out and said on Instagram, oh man, if y'all want me to do a versus battle, it's gonna be a million. So, when Jesus did the interview with the Breakfast Club and yeah. he made it public that he told Swiss Beats that he wanted to battle Gucci Mane instead of T.I., Guap, he had to give in. He had to. Because, nigga, you backed out. And, nigga, that, that's going to be the reason why these niggas don't battle because you backed out. And you you trying to fake like you, oh, I want a million dollars. No, nah, fuck, nigga, Jesus said he wanted you. <laughs> 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 what you want to do, nigga? But but look though, real nigga shit though. I thought about this too. That's a I looked at it as a bad move on Snowman part. And what? here's why. I don't want to be in the same room with no nigga I tried to get killed. What the fuck I want to be anywhere in the same vicinity with this nigga for? You know what I'm saying? And go up ignorant. What if he what if he lining me up in the versus battle? But you know how many times how many times I ain't gonna say they tried to squash it, but just make it at least peaceful. How the fuck? I, how the fuck I'm gonna be cool with a nigga? They got my nigga killed. Like when the shit happened on uh, what they don't was on drama radio when Gucci was in there and Jeezy called. Jeezy, had, Jeezy, that was on. It was a, it was a while back. It was some years ago, but they was on drama radio. Gucci was on there. She had Jeezy called on the phone. You were gonna let them in, boss man? Yeah, yeah, Jesus had called on the phone. And she, you know what I'm saying? Nah, like, they it kind of it was kind of put on the spot. Like Goo Wop wasn't fucking with it, but you can tell though. Like he was going along with it for the radio, but you could tell he wasn't really fucking with it. Man, that shit that gonna be hard. But hell yeah, that shit gonna be hard. And nigga, it's gonna be some shit though. It's gonna it's gonna be some shit but for sure. It's gonna be some shit. But and I like, gotta my, roll with I won't, I won't. Honestly, like I want, I want it to be some shit talking, cause I know a lot. I know a lot of motherfuckers like, man, I hope they been going there and it be cool. I hope the whole battle play out. I hope, I hope they, yeah, play, yeah. I hope they get, I hope they be able to play the whole twenty yeah, songs for sure. That, but nigga, what's up, folks? What's up? But nigga, I, I want that shit to be, I want that shit to be ratchet. 
I want them niggas yeah, be yeah. talking shit. Like, nah, because the thing about I, it, bro. I want them niggas to be talking shit. I want them niggas to be. Y'all can catch them chill right there. I want them niggas to be going at it in that bitch. I hope they get through the whole 20 songs, but I hope it be. I need to. But for the culture, yeah, for the culture, it wouldn't be a versus about it if they ain't do the shit talk. Guwap, Guwap gonna talk the shit. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. He gonna talk the yeah, shit for you, sure. you seen that shit? I, I, I seen that shit. You, my, my take on it is, you know, it, everything's more industrial now. You know what I'm saying? So, when it comes down to business shit, you can have the streets, but shit, Jeezy got the business. I mean, Guwap got the streets. I don't know. I don't think goo wop shit hit like Jesus shit hit in the street. No. Hey man, I, hey, I seen a post today. I seen a post today. But the mind, though, say, I get what you saying in the mind. Yeah, I seen a post that say, uh, post that that bitch say, Jesus, Jesus got the hustlers. Gucci got the customers. <laughs> hey, yo, 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 yo. yo. And it's way more customers. Real yeah, shit. Big fat. <laughs> Big fat, but I hope them niggas in there talking shit. I hope them niggas in there, man. I hope that shit. That man, shit gonna this be gonna loud. be one for the ages. You know, you can never get hmm? an event. They doing one of them versus things. Gucci Mane and Jeezy. Hell yeah. I seen Gucci and Jeezy, but what y'all think about Wayne and Ti? You seen that one? I seen that one. That's supposed to be December. Wayne and Ti. Wayne gonna smoke him. Man, smoke his boots. Wayne ain't losing no verses, cuz. Wayne gonna smoke him. Wayne, Wayne fucking his catalog, catalog too wide. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That nigga catalog too wide. Now remember we was talking about them. Remember we was talking about the big features and shit. Yeah, all them big features. Uh, Ti got Wayne yeah. got them. Hell yeah, yeah. nigga that was on the that was on the yeah. dancing this that was on the dancing this child song together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was on soldier. 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 Soldier, that was on soldier together. And Wayne smoked him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Wayne smoked him. <laughs> Shit, hey. Then you gotta also when you talking about Wayne and Ti, you gotta also look at what Wayne you talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's different iterations. He ain't lying. That's what I was. Damn, that's what I was. We talking about because nigga, because he can go to he he can bring out just regular Wayne. We got Lil Weezy Wee. Look, that's 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 what I was saying about that's what I was saying about when uh. When I was asking who can Wayne battle, man, what if they let Wayne play that mixtape shit? Ain't nobody alive. Fuck, ain't no, ain't nobody period fucking with mixtape Weezy. No. Mm -mm. No. That nigga, that 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 nigga come with that draw three. Man, you know, you know, on the draw three, that nigga intro was this is why I'm hot. Mm -hmm. He smashed that bitch. He came back with the upgrade. He smashed that bitch. Show me what you got. He smashed that bitch. Black Republican, he smashed that bitch. Wayne didn't play on well, Draw 3, dog. I remember Draw 3, bitch. We was outside like a motherfucker on West Side. Nigga, and that bitch came out. <laughs> when that boy came out with Draw 3, I'm, I'm trying to think, think which one I like the best. Oh, I was fucking that. with Sky's the Limit. No, 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 no. Yeah. What he did to that Beyonce. That man, that upgrade, you'll never upgrade, be the same. Bro. The upgrade. Yeah. Nigga. Man, I and still he, listen he to that shit to this day. Ice cream paint job. Yeah. Paint job. Man, that's that one that boy killed right there. The ice cream. That nigga was smoking that bitch. I'm, about to say, I'm all over this ice cream beat like sprinkles. Man, what? Not, that nigga. Hey dog, mixtape Wayne was that nigga. Mixtape Wayne ain't Alvin Wayne. Man, let me ask y'all this then. Wayne. Let me ask y'all this since we got some musical people in here. Who y'all top five? Who y'all top five rappers of all time? Of all time. All time. Yeah. I'm gonna say you gotta go back to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going back. I ain't going back to Cool Hurt well, them. We went on that shit. Okay, 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 we went on okay, that. Okay. I'm talking about not. I'm talking okay, about like okay, 91 okay. and up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 91 and up. Shit. You gotta be P. You gotta have P. You gotta have. Uh, you, gotta you said Master P. You gotta. You gotta have P. As a rapper. As oh. a. I mean. Now we ain't, we ain't talking about bosses and entrepreneurs. Okay, okay, we okay. talking about niggas rapping. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Cause nigga, my 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 top five always pretty much be the same, and I could get them bitches in order. Go ahead. Now, I can give you my five, but it might not be you know. It, it's just yeah. my personal. Opinion. But see, that's oh, no, it. That's it. Every, everybody got their everybody got their preference. Yeah. And that be my thing. When people want to get a five, your five not wrong. That's your preference. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You might like a certain type of music. He might like a certain type of music. 
Yeah. People wrote they five to be the correct five. Correct. It's never gonna be correct. Cause Jay Z ain't in my top five. Jay Z ain't in my top five. Mm -hmm. He in mine. He in mine. He ain't in but mine. I, I can he understand why mine. niggas got Jay Z in there. Yeah, See that? That's the part right there. Jay Z fifty and still could put out an album. Man, and that nigga, I seen Jay. I I didn't seen Jay get on that bitch and spit some shit. Cause nigga, I gotta put Biggie Smalls number one. For sure, for sure. I got Scarface at number two. That's tough. That's tough. I got Tupac at number three. Yeah. Yeah. I got motherfucking. See number four and five get tricky every time. Cause my my number five is Big Crit. Crit tough. Ooh, he slid, he hey, real slip hey, though, bro. He real slip. I be though, I be man. throwing my number four be everywhere sometime. Yeah, you said yeah. Crit, baby, baby. Hey, cause look, 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 cause look. Cause look. It's the longevity thing. I forget how long Crit been in the game. Been in the game. Yeah. Damn. Like, actually, he's in the pit. He's been in the game. And consistent, dope rapper. Yeah. Damn, boy, Crit. Cause nigga, I, I, be, I be arguing with niggas all the time. I be like, cause I fuck with T.I., but big, big Crit the king of the south to me. Yeah. <laughs> Like as far as the music and shit, man, that nigga straight south. That nigga straight Mississippi, man. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. can hear it. Like real shit. Man. Yeah, motherfucker. UGK, 36 Mafia, 8 Ball, MJG, Outcast. Yeah. He, he all of it. I fuck with T.I. though. But he ain't the king man, of the south. I'm talking about when I first heard Crit, the first thing I the first thing I said was motherfucking Pimp C. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nigga. Yeah, you just fucked up the whole yeah, game yeah, when you yeah, said that. Damn, you made me reevaluate my top five. Hey, that's what I said. Oh, you just made me reiterate everything when you said For real. Like, man, Crit yeah. tough. That nigga, that nigga a legend, man. I think, Crit, no, I think definitely if, a legend. Joker, definitely. I think if, 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 if he hadn't got, you know, caught up a lot, bro, I think he was not, he would have been a nice, you know what I'm saying, artist too, though. But oh. modern day music today, my top five would be, I'm putting Young Boy first. Ooh. Uh, the reason why I'm putting Young Boy first, because... Since Soldier Boy, this was the first artist to scream. I mean, the first hip hop artist right now. Like since Soldier Boy to be number one streaming artist in the world on YouTube. Dog, that nigga. One thing about Young Boy, this nigga album was number one a week before it came out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right? yeah. two a weeks week, really. Two yeah, two weeks before it came out, he was number one. And then the reason why I fuck with Young Boy so tough, nigga, cause. The label ain't even really behind him. That nigga doing all that shit by himself. He just dropping. He, he just doing uh, another boost in what Wayne did. And niggas, the, and niggas don't know that uh, young boy own fifty percent of his masters. You got yeah, the yeah. The boy making so much money. Yeah. He just got a distribution uh, deal under Cash Money. That's it. I don't even think he fuck with Cash Money no more. Cash Money. Now, I, I remember he was fucking with Cash Money at first. I think he went to Empire though. I think after he did that tape with Birdman, that was Cash Money. After that, after that, after that, the nigga was pretty much independent. Then Atlantic came. Because mm -hmm. Atlantic, the ones got him out probation and got him out of jail and shit. Yeah. Then Atlantic was tripping with him. That's when he started dropping all that shit on YouTube. He doing all that himself. And then Atlantic had to get back behind him, but they really not promoting him like that. Because like, like we was talking about earlier, I'm, I'm willing to bet, nigga, they got a $5 million insurance policy, a life insurance and policy on motherfucking young boy. They, Hell really, yeah. they really waiting on him to die. Boy, you got to, especially, man, when he was going through that shit with G-Money and them, and now he going through with Fredo, somebody finna go. Because, look, you just got to think about King Ron's got killed, and they was going back and forth. Now everybody want to implement young boy in, in this. He probably didn't have nothing to do with it. You know That's what, what I said. He probably didn't have not a thing to do with it, but... Being who he is, being that King Von made statements about this man, bro, controversy still. So mm -hmm. guess what the label gonna push him to do? And guess what King, guess what OTF and them gonna push, you know, the Chicago niggas. Yeah, yeah, they gonna yeah. make this uh they gonna make this an issue because this 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 controversial thing, this controversial thing with with you know what I'm saying, with hip hop has always been a trend. Since, mm -hmm. since East I'm Coast, about West Coast. East, exactly. East Coast, West Coast, yeah, you know what I'm saying, the South, the South, all this I mean, that, that shit always been a trend. That's what I always kept people wondering. What what what, what make you go click on a video uh, quicker? You know what I'm saying? An artist that's talking about, uh, you know what I'm saying, something positive, or an artist that's talking about, you know, another artist or mm -hmm. something, you know. As soon as you see the thumbnail, all the them guns and shit, you're going to click on that shit. 
Hell yeah, the bullshit gonna sell. But we were talking about that earlier though, like record labels having insurance, life insurance, and policies on these rappers, man. That's why they don't st they don't stop the beef. That's why they let them nigga kill Hell each other. No. They they make more money off you. They probably made a million dollars off you while you was alive. When you die though, they gonna cash in five million instantly. Oh, yeah. Or better. Cause I bet I bet like I was telling them, I bet they got ten million dollars on six nine flesh on God. Hell yeah. Six nine, six six, six nine. That's why he that's why he carries himself like he do. You know what I'm saying? That's why that boy, that he don't, he ain't no, he, he don't give a fuck. Like, man, look, like, I, cause I asked him this all the time. Man, man, look at a nigga like 6ix9ine. Could he ever hang around us? No. The first day he came around, <laughs> what the fuck he doing in the spot? <laughs> if you don't get this nigga out of here, <laughs> who let him in here, man? Hey, hey, the, the, the first thing, cause. Who who made it cool for this nigga to say he can even come here? Like nigga, if you walk up to him, anything in your hand, I'm slapping it on the floor. Don't give him nothing. Nothing. I don't know what he finna go say or. You can't take him serious. You can't take no nigga like that. Soon as I seen him, I don't give a fuck how many flags he had in them videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That boy flaw. That boy flaw. That boy flaw. Nobody I know even do that hair like that. Nah, man. For real, not what I'm even colors. Nah. Nigga, that, 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 that instantly threw me for a loop. That's why I say they, like, and then, let's just get to this thing about snitches. Like, Uh-oh. Hold on, before we start, because <laughs> shit fucked up now. Niggas be calling the old lady that got her purse snatched a snitch. Shit so fucked up, that ain't snitching. That ain't snitching, man. That, that ain't, ain't snitching, snitching that, man. That, 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 that can't be defined as snitching. You call snitching when you implement another motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, instead of taking your own lead. Mm -hmm. You have to bring another person into play saying, oh, well, he had something to do with it, too. And, and, and knowing that, you know, I'm, I'm I'm accustomed to exactly what the fuck going on. I was always taught. If you in the, if you in the, if you in a place to where, you know what I'm saying, shit, you can't say that you wasn't there, keep your mouth closed. Mm -hmm. I mean, shit, snitch get ditches. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker that keep their mouth closed come home. You know what I'm saying? You might got to spend a little time. Look, you on ratchet, a, lot, come a back. lot of these niggas, yes, and that's what be getting niggas caught up because they don't know what it's like to sit in that interrogation room. Mm -hmm. the, the first thing the police going to do is lie on your partner in the next room. Mm -hmm. Man, That's the they first ain't thing even, they going to do. They ain't even talk to your yeah. partner yet. Yeah, we you know come right in there. Hey, cuz, look, we had, uh, we had daddy in the other room. Daddy already told me because hey, he, he said did he it. did it all. <laughs> so so what's up? You don't really fuck with daddy like that. And it's daddy two, your bar from it, social and media. And it's two type of niggas. You got you got the nigga that's like, oh hell no, he lying on me. He the one who do who do who do. And then you got the nigga that be like No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Cause nigga, I ain't even gonna ask for the lawyer, cause when you ask for a lawyer, you are implementing that yes, you sir. guilty in a certain type of way. You know, yes, cause nigga, if a motherfucker come to me and say, Hey man, if 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 the mother exactly. If yo, if a motherfucker, yo, if they come to me and say, yo, May May say you did it, I would like, well, look, you go over there and get May May and tell him to say that shit in my face, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah, you lying. Well, sir, you don't want a lawyer. What I need a lawyer for I ain't did shit. Real shit. Uh, for real. I'm sir, is you taking me to jail or what, nigga? Cause they only can hold you. I got a feeling they serving hamburgers in the max tonight. Let's get there early. <laughs> <laughs> Save all let's, us the motherfucking Let's get there early. You know what I'm saying? Uh, down the hall to the right, but yeah, man, like that snitching shit so crazy, cause nigga be nigga be throwing that shit around like it's nothing. It's crazy shit, but shit, we got we kind of got off topic and shit. Speaking of jail and shit though, the boy Tay K. Yeah, they talking about that. You know he uh, facing fifty five years. And they he got fifty five years. Yeah, and they talking about that nigga finna get some more time for stabbing a prison guard. That look, that look, nigga, wow. Boy. Hey, bro, you might as well go ahead, uh. <laughs> but look though, think about, go ahead, though, sit down, bro. I get what you saying, but ain't this dude? He like eighteen, man. He got some type of life he can have. Like nigga, if they put another ten, twenty on top of the fifty-five. You. Think about somebody at that age, man. Like I think I don't know if we talked about this before, but like there are cats at that age, man. They already. They already gone. Like they eighteen. We looking at it like, hey man, you got your whole life ahead of you. Somebody that young that's lived that type of life don't look at shit like that. But you, you hey, got to think, boy. Yeah. Like, niggas eighteen years old walking around this bitch with PTSD. Like for real. Yeah, when I was eighteen. Yeah, like I when I was eighteen. Cause when you, cause when you, when you, you ain't got no foresight. 
Yeah, you that young, you ain't got no force. Yeah, that, that's what separated me from like all my little friends and shit that were dying and shit at a young age. Because I had a homeboy, he died when he was 15 on a home invasion. And we all was doing this shit. Yeah. And like, my thing is though, I always knew, I knew I'd be right here. Yeah. I always knew that. Like, when a nigga was doing certain shit in the street, I never, I never looked at that shit. I don't understand how niggas, like my daddy, for example, I never understood how that nigga once looked at the streets as a career. You know what I'm saying? Even though he changed that shit and started doing the contract and shit and flipping houses and shit, at one point, that nigga just, he thought he was just going to be yeah. that forever. Like, just yeah, on some Scarface shit. The main, the main part of me is a lot, it, with, with a lot of black America, bro, it's when you hustling, you know what I'm saying? You don't look at the, the, the four vision, okay? Mm -hmm. If you haven't got caught up in so long, look for something to invest in. You know what I'm saying? Man, what we just talking about? Yeah, that? yeah. That's, 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 that's supposed to be the ultimate goal. Yeah, to make it out this shit. Yeah. But I'm going yeah. to yeah. tell you so, yeah. I'm going to tell you so yeah. fucked up though. It's so fucked up about it though cuz like all people ain't seen shit. Yeah. Man, you could you can take you could take a person to the pine road and let them see some of the big houses and he think he'd have been somewhere. Been somewhere. You still yeah. ain't seen shit. Cause once you hit Dallas, niggas, you gonna start seeing Ferraris and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Let alone you go to Miami, nigga, you finna start seeing the big houses, you finna see the big list, yeah. the Lambos. Everything. Once you start Houston, seeing nigga. like your vision only is big as what you know. Man, no, if yeah. all you know is the hood, Man. this shit gonna be a career for you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause you don't you ain't dreaming bigger. Like 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 T say, man, he had a vision to be what he at. Yeah. It was yeah. always bigger than that. Yeah, man. I, 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 I mean, yeah. yeah. I tell the same story. I tell the same story all the time, bro. I be like, bro, like you can ask my brother right here, man. The dudes that I was doing certain stuff with in the street, they'll get their money with the with the woo. Soon as we get back, they fucking with the hoes, tricking it off weed, looking all that shit. I put every dime into this. I knew I I you was there. Everybody, man, niggas used to look at me like, T, I know you got some money in your pocket, man. You ain't gonna go get no new shoes. No, I'm rocking these. Real right. shit. Right. Niggas, niggas used to look at me, my nigga, like when I used to sell over there, yeah. off the, at the spot. Niggas, niggas thought I was homeless. Because <laughs> I, I, I would dress like a bum. With the black force. I'd be at the laundry room, nigga. With yeah, the black I'd be forces. getting it in. And, and, and the police just ride by me. They like, look at this homeless nigga. Because I'm a homeless nigga. Just like when I was a teenager and shit, I used to dress up and, and, and walk around sitting there at campus, nigga. They thought I went to the school. Bitch, I got a brick and a half in this backpack. <laughs> You see, but like, like they go back to what we be talking about the image shit. I don't niggas get caught up in their image shit, and their image will kill you. For real, real shit. The image of motherfucker. Majority of like around the city, like where we, that's what I be saying. That's one of my favorite sayings, bro. They do it. It's a fashion. You feel me? Everything for fame. It's like everybody, fashion. Everything, 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 everybody looking for. Everybody looking for that cloud off or something. Like, bro, I like, swear to God, bro, your brother been knowing me for a minute. I ain't never gave a fuck about the image. Niggas used to look at me like I was crazy. They used to be like, man, what's up with dude? Like, he talented and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to get into arguments with Andy Dandy. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Dandy used to be like, bitch, if you don't go, woo -doo 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 -doo. I'm like, fuck that shit, Andy. Man, you tripping. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Man, I'm out of here. All right, Andy. You know what I'm saying? Look, what, what, what people don't know, shit. Like, man, with streets, nigga, the, the streets, man, it, it, ain't, it, it really ain't but one. When people used to tell me it ain't but one, two ways out that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? It really ain't but one, one two way. ways. Yeah, it's one shit. Real shit. It's real. It's like, one way out. Yeah. For real. I mean, yeah, you going to jail or, you, or a nigga going to be hating Jackie or Kid? Nigga gonna crack that nigga, shit. That boy Plyer just said that on Twitter talking about man, the only way to beat the streets is to leave. Mm -hmm. Real shit. Like when niggas, like nigga. Like what I go back to. Like when, when, when you make so much money off of this shit, you can make a million dollars off of selling dope. But when you, when, when you make that million dollars, you're gonna keep selling dope or what you, you're gonna find you something to invest in. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that be that problem. That's all they know. That go back to one of the reasons. Like I money making me. I gotta got put Jay Z. Yeah, see, I understand it though. You know what I'm saying? Because the news and plus what he stands for, he came from where we came from. Man, man, that's that man apartment, man, where they playing basketball there, bro. Listen to his lyrics. You heard me? He just ain't got our beats, man. He talk about the same thing. On my mama. You heard me? Because, nigga, I ain't. That's a true bona fide. I ain't going to take nothing from Jay Z. I ain't going to take nothing from Jay Z, but I'm going to say, as far as him being in my top artist, he wouldn't be because, I mean, he 
he's lyrically inclined. Don't get me wrong. That's why he in my top artist. I heard that nigga say some shit. Yeah, man, he's man. I'm trying to deal with that. But when it comes down to, you know what I'm saying, us being from the South, we take in music a lot different than, you know, yeah. what Northern yeah. people do, what West we people do, or even, even East, you know, yeah. even the more the East people do shit, because, you know what I'm saying, we got, we we have the m most catchy of music. Yeah, yeah. The reason mm -hmm. why I could grow up, the, uh, we have these up tempos, tempos, up -tempos and then tempos. Yeah. everything that we make, people can move to. Mm -hmm. When you and us, some people, you know, you got, you know, now you got some spe spectacular ass artists, like Nipsey Hussle. I fuck with all kind of music. But I, 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 I've been on East Coast music for a long time. A long time, yeah. Like, real shit. I met, uh, when I, man, I was in college playing ball, cause I met a nigga from Brooklyn. I don't boy, trust no nigga from New York. Boy, boy. told me. <laughs> man, I'm a, I'm a tell you. Cause I'm a tell you, though. No. Man, they grinding, man. Real shit. They grinding, man. Bro. Look, like, I compare. I don't mean to cut you nah, off. No, you good. But, like, I compare. Because I met Brooklyn niggas before. I compare Brooklyn niggas to Cedar Grove niggas, <laughs> bro. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, yeah, but real yeah. shit, man. Look, it was so crazy a, that a me Cedar, and my boy a, got a cool. Cedar Grove nigga, I never forget. It's, I watched this happen. I went to Broadmoor Middle School. I couldn't go to Linwood. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying even though I stayed in West Side Cedar Grove, oh, they ain't let me go to. They ain't let me go to Linwood. I can only go to Broadmoor. It's really the only school I can go where nobody else wanted me. So look, I watched my partner. We'll ride the bus together or whatever. I watched this nigga. A nigga at school wanted to be cool with us so bad. So my partner was like, man, come home with us. Ride the bus with us. Come come to the hood with us. The nigga came to the hood, right? He was a lame-ass nigga. Really ain't supposed to be over here. Yeah. But nigga had a little money or whatever. This nigga hung out with us all day. And when my partner finally came out and said what was finna happen, I was like, oh, man. I left. Man, they lined that nigga up. Man, they hung out with this nigga <laughs> all day. Smoke with him, drink with him all just to fuck him over. See, that's what they be on now. And I'll be like, bro, I'm so glad my best friend a Cedar Grove nigga. Cause nigga, that could have been me. Mm -hmm. I ain't from Cedar Grove. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, yeah. but I'd have stayed in all the different hoods, so I always tapped in with the right people. I don't Yeah. Right, right, right. You gotta tell y'all y'all answer this question for me too, man. Oh, okay, so what other music do you like? No, no. If, if if anything, everybody's wearing green flags now because of what? 4K Trey. Thank you. And cause look, when I first seen them green flags, I thought that was some Mexican shit. Me too. I thought it was some essays. Guess what, bro? That's why, young boy. Hey, cause young boy. Hey, that nigga. The nigga funny, a trendsetter. He's, he's crazy. He's a trendsetter, but he done created like a whole new generation of rappers. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you Man, and it was and then, so it was so crazy. I was down, I was in Shreveport and seen even, somebody rocking that shit, and I was like, like flag out the back pocket, like like, and I'm looking like cut. Like, what people don't know, he got a whole game. The dude, uh, uh, I don't know if y'all heard him, uh, Blue Benji Cole. Yeah, yeah, my nigga. Yeah, that's why y'all hear that boy. That's why y'all hear uh, Blue Benji Cole. Yeah, that's why y'all hear that boy, uh, young boy screaming BBG. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all, man. The, the shit is so much of a the shit so much of a motherfucking me, you know what I'm saying, class right now, bro, to where they want to make this 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 shit like it is. Because be real ratings and shit didn't go up until after, you know, people were finding out that he was really catching bodies in the city. Mm -hmm. Actually, from me knowing this man from when he went to Huntington and everything, when he used to come down to Jack Quarters with shoe and everything. Hold on, before you, before you go any further, I don't do no editing on this bitch. You know, you, you know, I know you don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't give a fuck. I, I know you don't give a fuck. That's, That's why I had to put that out there. I said, man, man, about to say some shit. <laughs> you niggas want like this, bro. That nigga say, like, hold on. Look, look, but look, you heard what he said? You heard what he said? Yeah. yeah. It just wasn't like this. Boy. I, I put, this look, look, I ain't, gonna, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say nobody name or nothing, but one of the, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't know, I ain't know B-Will growing up, even though I went to Bethune with him for a year. But I, I knew the other nigga he was rocking with before they fell out. Yeah. Nigga, daddy, a pastor, and mama. Mm. Mm. They not like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I do not be capping, kid. You feel me? Yeah. They not like that. I used, to like stay, that. I used to stay on Greenwood Road and Greenwood Villa right around the corner from motherfucking La Tierra. Oh, man. I, I, oh, yeah. I, I used to I, stay there. I, 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 this ain't no cap when I say this, you know. 
from Shreveport to Bowles, I, 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 I don't say what I want, rather it's on Facebook, <laughs> rather it's on Instagram, or rather it's on, you know what I'm saying, rather it's live, you know what I'm saying, interview with a nigga sitting right there in front of me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I tell you niggas to their face, they want to say, nigga got money, that's when they start being like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say one thing about that little boy, Blue Benji Kobe. Real that deal. Boy like it. I've been knowing that boy since he was like 12. He used to run around the hood and shit. We used to see that little nigga running around, man. That little, when that woman I seen him rapping, it was really taking off. I would say, dog, I'm so proud of that nigga. Man, that little look, like that, man. little cub was bad, nigga. Him and little uh, SOD bankroll, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, little man, little man uh, you know I fuck with little man ago. That my nigga, yeah, cracker yeah, nigga, shit, little yeah. yeah. Look, little man ago, that boy, that crazy. I told him, he said he got he got mayonnaise and mustard in his mouth. I said, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I come in on that nigga. I'm like, I'm like, nigga, your your ass green, nigga. That boy crazy as hell. Me, you know, you man, their shit. rap though, their rap shit be saving a lot of them niggas though. Yeah, man. It killed a lot of. It killed it, 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 it kill a lot of. Say. But see, that that shit be the image, that image shit that you talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You like you don't. They got the they 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 yeah, make the know. image. And, and they try to live up to it, man. Because, nigga, I be, it I, ain't. like, nigga, like, when I used to argue with Andy Dando about that image shit, I'm like, bro, that image shit be getting, nigga, whack. Could you imagine, like, being a, a jack boy, right? And you see a nigga, and he be on Instagram flexing all that shit. You swear he got it. And you run up to rob this nigga, and he ain't got number two dollar. Ain't got nothing. He ain't got nothing but some motherfucking J's on. Yeah. See, like, no, nah, man. A lot of people nah. consider Wibby, like, one of the best all this fun to stop, but I'm always going to do that. Webby? The why? Because that, that nigga Webby, he live exactly what he spit. Mm -hmm. and, and since day one, I ain't never seen Webby change his image up on some bitch ass shit. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't go commercial. He didn't, he didn't change his label. They tried to make him go commercial, though. I don't, man, commercial. honestly, I don't think Webby really, like, Booster had the vision to be where he is now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This the life he dreamed of, all the shit he rapped about. He had the vision to be that. Webby just, he went he he went along with the shit. The shit happened, and he lived in the moment. Webby was the nigga you was talking about was blowing the money, you know what I'm saying? And Boosie was the nigga trying How? to get what he had now. Webby lived. Webby man. Webby, Webby is in, into real estate. This is what people oh, don't know. See, Webby niggas don't know Webby's straight. Webby. Nah, I ain't saying he and, broke. And let me show you why he's set for life. Because he is trio. Damn, your only artist right now. Nah, I ain't saying Webby broke or Everybody else gone. Everybody else gone. I just seen Booster say fuck trill on Twitter. Yeah, I seen mm. that. Mm. You know why? Why? I seen that. Cause they were marking this man getting shot, man. You, you talk. You talking about? You know what I'm saying? You talking about? You know what I'm saying? You talking about all the wrong shit when you come down. I'm going to say this right here, bro. A booster just got shot at Big T. <laughs> you just talking about that. And, and, and it been motherfucking me. 13, 14 different reporting shooters in this same area on top of this, on top of Big T starting to get burned down. On top of Yellow Bees and Baby Mama uh, mm -hmm. uh, shop got shot up. On top of, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it, man, come on, now this booster you talking about, bro. But back to the Web and Booster shit, though. Because I was talking to somebody about this yesterday. It's two type of niggas in this rap shit. Yeah. Webby was the nigga. He just wanted the respect and the money. That's it. Yeah. Boosie, Boosie been the nigga on the DVDs. You find yeah. a 50 in here. I'm pussy. Yeah. It, Boosie knew he wanted to be the it nigga. You know but what see, I'm saying? That's what... Now he got the, the gold I heard the that's gold the best bitch. shit out too. Huh? I heard his water like the, one of the best shits out. Yeah. But see, that's what I was saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? When Boost was on the life that I dreamed of, he was like, shit, I always stream luxury. Mm -hmm. And not the other niggas, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Who only dream luxury. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that Webby didn't want. But see, Webby didn't have that vision Booster had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you say, he just want the respect of that shit. Yeah. The respect see, and the see, money. Boosted, like you say, yeah, you're right about that. But Booster really ain't, if he don't never want to drop another motherfucker, I ain't gotta do nothing. Got nigga got, got cologne. Nothing. Nigga got vodka. Oh, nigga got water. Chips. chips noodles. Noodles. I mean, nigga like, got noodles. Like. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? He. And the nigga he trying to start a sports man. management. Um, he trying to. I think he trying to start like a sports management mm -hmm. agency. Like, oh, yeah. 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 See, see, and that, that, that's what separate boosting, man. That was separate boosting. Then. Oh, bro. I just hate to see the outcome. What the fuck gonna go on after all this shit? Oh no, somebody. When I seen this nigga shot Booster, accident or not, 
it's gonna be some nigga following behind that. It's gonna be some people following, bro. Cause nigga, I could see if I could see if it was somewhere in like New York or yeah. Canada or something like that. Man, Dallas down the street. That man, be, that nigga been politicking in Dallas. Yeah, that's like home, exactly. He been politicking out there. So shit, I ain't I ain't surprised by I ain't surprised about the retaliation shit. I just like we was talking about it earlier. Like I just either either the nigga that shot Boosie just a super gangster. Or he's stupid as fuck. Cause crash dummy. You ride up and you know you finna shoot this shit up. Off the strength of the Mo Three shit, that's cool. I can I understand that. That's how y'all moving now. Cause we ain't shoot up funerals and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some disrespectful shit. But if this if, if you pulled up and you knew you was finna shoot it up and you seen Boosie and you still did that, you gotta go whatever come with it. Man, if you went there looking to shoot Boosie, if it was an accident, you just made the stupidest accident of your life. But if you went there and with intentions on shooting Boosie. Cause you the biggest crash dummy known to man. Yeah, and I, I feel like I feel like I feel like. I mean, don't get me wrong now, because ain't nobody invincible. No, the nigga human. Hell the no. nigga human. No, but at the same time, you gotta think about a motherfucking icon. Just the 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 type of icon this man is. He got he caught his bodies. He went and did his time. Ain't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? And came home. To everybody in the world, like every street nigga in the world, bro, if you ask him, you know what I'm saying, right now, you know, who at, at the most gangster nigga in the world, bro, even if you go, like, like you say, if you go overseas, London, and I, Boosie, man. Yeah. People is, people are going yeah. to say the most gangster person in the world to them is Boosie. Boosie, that, that like, like, especially if you ask them in the music industry, yeah. they going to say Boosie. Yeah, they and nigga, you boost. had one chance. This, this was probably going to be your closest opportunity. To get to this chance, and you blew it. Yeah. <laughs> like nigga, like like now that you brought that up, like ain't nobody invincible and shit. Cause you know, nigga, I believe that to the fullest. Hey man. Like nigga, why why you think why you think niggas do that shit? Like like the whole situation with like King Von. Cause I was talking to my homeboy about it, and he ain't like what I said, but the nigga got himself killed out there. He did. Yeah, he did. He did. He got himself. Yeah, like yeah. from, from the video, it looked like this man was walking up to shake your hand. First of all, Quando ain't want no smoke. That man, that, that, listen, in, in, in one thing about, I'm going to say about King Von, he's a legend. 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 He's a Smoking on a 15-year-old dude that got killed at the bus stop, bro. Bro. Like, all that shit, man, all that shit, bro. You know, it, it, it all come back. Man, look, like, yeah. like I was yeah. talking to y'all about that the, the week before last, man. I honestly think that niggas be thinking they God. Yeah. But niggas, see, niggas be thinking they controlling everything. Yeah. Like the whole King Von situation. He, going, he thought. Going, dropping money off in your city like, think, think about this. Put yourself in King, in King Von's situation. If a nigga come up to you, you sitting in the truck, it's tinted out, bulletproof and everything. Niggas don't even see you. No. Quando them don't even know you there. No. But if your homeboy come to you and say, hey, man, Quando Rondo out here, you ain't just finna jump out and do no shit. That's what got him killed. He, he, he thought, like yeah, he thought he seen everything and knew everything. You thought you was God. But if you'd have sat in that truck for five more minutes, you'd have known that Tim was in that white truck with that gun. Yeah. But All see, you had how, to do is wait. How Quando had his people set up, though. Like, shit, we watching the parameters. Well, nobody like, set up. But, but it wasn't but three niggas. He in his own city. Quando was in his own city. It wasn't number like three or four of them, exactly. It, it was Quando got out his car, and, it, and the rest of them niggas in that truck. See, yeah. the nigga was parked a fault. They guns was a fault. But, mm -hmm. that, that, but that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying right there. The city, they was parked close, and their guns was close. See, they never left their guns. They never left the guns. It was never supposed to be no beef. King Von... Brought what happened to King Von upon King Von. This the reason why I say that, bro. Because from the videos, and I done watched all the videos, bro. This man looked like he was finna get ready to walk up and shake this man. Or ask him what's months, what's the deal. Before that, this man was on a video, you know, probably like a month. You know what I'm saying? There like fuck sixty third. You know what I'm saying? Quando Rundo on that, like fuck sixty third. He with King Von and shit on on, on in the yo and shit. So I'm saying. Just because, okay. I look, uh, you know, you got, you know, beef with, you know, which is Quando Rondo is, you know, uh, 
young boys. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You know, these young boys for another two years, I think. I won't say another two years. But that's what got him killed, bro. Like he he, he really he really just took off on this man over on probably been full of them perkins, probably been That's what I said. Drunk. Probably you know that what, what I said. seen this man, he like, well fuck it. You know what I'm saying? He fucked with the ops, this nigga I opt to, you know, and boom. So Quando Rondo really is it, 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 he in front of the video, people say he's trying to snatch his chain. Now I think he was trying to help that man up. No, no. The the manager explained it. Vaughn didn't let him go. Vaughn was trying to use him as a as a shield in case Cuz started back shooting. That's why he was holding him. Vaughn had him. Quando yeah. really would have let him go and walked off, but Vaughn had him trying yeah. to use him as a shield and shit. You know when your body lock up. Shit, yeah, he was locked on that nigga. Clinch. Boy, you got a clinch. Hell yeah, when, your, when, when you when you when you when you get shot and shit, your whole and your body lock up, then your hands is damn near inevitable. You know what I'm saying? Just like. But they, like, I don't believe the shit about them, him trying to snatch, you know what I'm saying? No. Nah. Chain and shit, bro. But, but I feel like, if anything, it looked like this man was trying to help him up. Because Rondo was the one that said, hey, man, he shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He said yeah. that out there. Cause I don't even, man, I don't think Quando wanted that man to get shot like that. Nah, he, he didn't want him to get shot. He just had his hitter with him. And then, shit, when you got a nigga that's with you, because I'm, I'm going to say this right here. If I'm, if I'm with, if I'm with him right now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, if I'm with you, T. We out of town any motherfucking way, bro. And, you like know me. what I'm saying? I know you, that, that right now you are mobile. You know what I'm saying? I know that you are, you know, you the person that's, you know what I'm saying? You know the reason why we out here, man. You bring, who? You think I'm finna let somebody fuck Like, nigga. Like, you think you finna run up and just jump on the nigga who changed my life? Exactly. No. Exactly. exactly. Now, I, I don't think, I, I would have been out there fighting. Yeah, bro. I, I would have just went to shooting that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, but in, in that situation, knowing that, you know, I'm just say, and, and, and this is why I, I jumped the fence on that. Day. Okay. Knowing King Von history, knowing that, Dang, you know what I'm saying? These boys. Really that's what you, it. that's what you got to go by though. That's what you go by. You got to mm-hmm. go, go by that. Go by that. Like, the first, the first mind frame to me is, bro, especially being. And like the, time. like the manager even said, man, everybody Von have with him is well, steppers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Vaughn just did his own shit that night. Like Vaughn, he say he he left his entourage went to the Airbnb. They didn't know he was going to the club. That's how he got caught lacking. Mm-hmm. He ended up at the club and his and his shooters yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Especially when you get in the industry because she, you know, you can be a you can be a hitter, but she, you gotta know that when 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 you when. When you are a motherfucking me millionaire, nigga, it's a time, you know. What I'm time saying? and a play. Yeah. And like, like you were like, saying like, about like, the like, energy like. shit earlier, that nigga manager say, man, his energy was off all night. Nothing Vaughn normally do, he did that night. That's why I say I think he was high on something. He had to be. He had to be. But like, but, but like the me, like, 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 like nigga was saying, like, like he was saying, nigga trying to be a soldier instead instead of being a million dollar man. That's the same shit got Tupac killed. Yeah. Yeah. You had no business putting your fucking hands on that, not on that nigga, that, not on Orlando. Man. And then like as 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 Quando Rondo boy, like I ain't I ain't I ain't just for killing a nigga in that situation, but you can't say he wrong either. He did what he was supposed to do. You can't say he wrong. You can't. Like, and he he not. Even if, even if he don't get indicted, I wouldn't be mad. Like I'm gonna show you why I wouldn't be mad, bro. Because uh, uh, King Von bro, was a disrespectful little nigga, man. Like, Real this deal. Was honest to God, true. This was one of the most. A little 15 year old dude, bro. You know. I ain't know the nigga was 15. Yeah, go, go look up. Name Tuka. Tuka. Tuka, yo. Was killed, bro, at a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a at a fucking bus stop because his brother killed somebody else. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? Y'all made a whole. You stayed family. in Chicago? No, I'm not. Shit. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? And these niggas don't find that phrase funny because mm-hmm. they homeboy, first of all, little brother was killed and they homeboy is Joseph right now. You know what I'm saying? So you think that man after he done caught all these bodies? You know what I'm saying? His brother ain't sending hits out here. I mean, and you see, this, see, it's a back and forth thing in Chicago. That's all they do is kill. Like they kill off. If if if, if you from the O, don't come to 63rd. And it's crazy because it's right two, two street, two block. Yeah. 
two block. This nigga, the nigga Vaughn was from 64. Vaughn's from O-Block. Feel me? O-Block is 64. I'm talking about literally like... That shit. You you can go between, you know, housing, buildings and shit, nigga, and walk right to the street. That shit be... like if I was to walk from here to the front of Medivy, bro. That shit weird to me. Because niggas be... Like when niggas be like my hood, my city, man, nigga don't own none of this shit. Of this we shit. don't own none of this shit. Well, hell no. A nigga, a nigga can come to your mama house if she ain't got her money on the first and kick her out. Then kick her out, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, dude, like, nigga, yo, like, I ain't. And we all go step on the rent, man. Don't do nothing to the rent, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. All, all the police come through this bitch. Police come through here and shoot our motherfucking partner. They weren't doing nothing. Nigga don't do nothing to the police. No. But we kill each other all day. Yeah, see, see, yeah, see, I think that's in any grace though. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I feel like it's beef in the end. You know what I'm saying? That's why when people uh, go to uh, black on black crime, it's, uh, I, want, I, I, I like to stop them because I'm going to say, shit, nigga, Italians was the first motherfucking gang. The Italians and, and Italians, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, the, first, the first gang was Christopher Columbus and the good old boys. <laughs> <laughs> For sure that. I mean, For sure that. Documented, I'm going to say documented motherfucking me gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lucky Luciano, you know, implemented what a motherfucking gangster was. Yeah, the, 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 the inventor of the drive-by. Yes, sir. Oh, my mom. You know what I'm saying? Go shoot your shit up. Go blow your shit up. If they not paying us for protection, they don't get it. Capitalism. You mm -hmm. know? And that's basically what we live on today. We are pants. And that's what a lot of people don't see. I love you know capitalism, though. I love it, too. Because if you master it, bro, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, that, that, the thing about being a capitalist is like, you control commerce. If you control commerce, bro, you control people. Mm -hmm. like, so, like motherfuckers, motherfuckers always try to make it seem like capitalism a bad thing. Capitalism ain't the bad thing. It's the fact that you got people out here that want everything. Like everybody. it's enough for everybody. everybody it's the niggas that want everything. <laughs> Them the niggas that's the problem. And, and, and since you going, I'm gonna say like you know, and see you know me, bro. Okay, so you remember how you used to tell me. You know what I'm saying? At first, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, man, shit, don't record everybody. Don't be, don't be going get all them features and shit. See, mm -hmm. I didn't have to, I, I didn't see that until years later. Because you, you know how many people, studios I used to be at, you know, used to go record with niggas, mixing their songs down, you know, to the best of my knowledge type shit. And then I always got, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, that, that fuck over. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, some of these niggas hot right now, not to mention. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say no names. I was about know. to say who. You know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say I, fuck, I fuck with them. You know, RBN. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, a couple of, the, couple of the artists they got in RBN. Um, Shout out Mr. 2100. Yeah, my dog, bro. For sure that. My dog, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, Morris. Uh, fucking um, Cindy, George, Cindy, um, Autumn mm -hmm. Morris. You know? Uh, and like I say, it, it wasn't a paid homage. I'm definitely going to say SBE because you know who. SBE. I mean. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah, know, yeah, you, know, yeah. you, know, you know who that shit was. Yeah. You know, it, the whole SBE was, you know, I was the whole SBE dog. You know oh, I remember that. You know, I remember that shit. I was the whole yeah, SBE. Right. And, and see, the, and, and, and see yeah, was it wasn't enough paid homage. Yeah. 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 See, and see the thing was, bro, about that, it was a lot of it was a lot of fucking in the game. It was a lot of people not, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I feel like at that time, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna take nothing away from myself when I say this, bro. Uh I feel like I was that image. You know what I'm saying? I had the image then, I had the motherfucking me, you know, the the, the, the popularity then, I had the people around me that was just willing to just, you know, just fuck with me just because I it was too many people wanting to be, you know what I'm saying, Michael Jordan. And just didn't know that, you know what I'm saying? Scotty Pippen was a, a man. Yeah. Yeah. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nigga didn't win by himself, you know, man. I, I don't think I was, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I wasn't trying to, you know, just do this shit just to win by myself. But I was doing this shit just in case, you know, if I could have, if I could have got a good few albums out, you know what I'm saying? And, and had the right distribution behind me and everything. I feel like, you know, it would have drew a bigger, you know what I'm saying? A bigger impact around Bulge of me. I'm say I'm specifically saying Bolger music, bro, because it, it, when you're an artist and you go to Shreveport from Bolger, bro, they don't respect you the same. Mm -mm. They don't respect you the same. They don't feel like they don't feel like your talent level is where they is at. Even if you, I don't care how much you're talking about killing, bro. And I can honestly say, 
I was one of the first people, bro, besides my cousin Pope. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Lil Pope. To just come from Bozier and be able to make music with people in Shreveport mm -hmm. and fit right into how, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. how they were doing it. Big Red was able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because Red had a different flow. I, like I say, Lil Pope, my cousin, was able mm -hmm. to do it because he got a different flow. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I feel like I was able to do it because I came in with a different flow. T, you was able to do it because you came with a different flow. Mother. I was just finna, it ain't even the flow, man, man. You know what it is? It take, like 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 you said, when I came to Bozier, yeah. a nigga just got into the flow. flow. It's because a lot of these niggas can't, if you ain't no authentic nigga, you can't do that. You can't do it. Because nigga, you go with some people that don't know you at, and all they know is what you say on your raps. So when you come around, your, you en know. your energy ain't nothing you say on your raps. Niggas be uncomfortable as a nigga motherfucker. Niggas be in the studio <laughs> scared. That, that's, why, that's why we can go fuck with folks. Hey. Fuck folk. We walk in that bitch with a weed at. We, 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 we thugging with you. Hey, what you say? You walk in that bitch and had and bathroom? Yeah, down the hall to the right. Nigga, walk in that bitch and see a and see a gun sitting up there, nigga. My my mama I want one like a motherfucker. <laughs> but, yeah, after this shit, we can go do that. But yeah, nigga, like like nigga, that's what it is though, because that's why I clicked up with that nigga uh Andy Dandy. Yeah. My Andy Dandy just came to the studio and was fucking with a nigga. And that's how it gotta be like. Ooh, I love my boy out. Like the end, like the energy shit, you know, the energy shit real. Like, and Andy Dandy go anywhere and, and fit in. And, 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 and the reason why, bro, because this, and bro, and I hate it so bad, man, I hate it so bad, bro, because this is one of the most talented motherfucking artists in street club balls right here. Me and if you. I could put money on this guy. To my Andy? Andy. Andy a motherfucking genius. Andy a genius, boy. Andy, bro, <laughs> Andy, Andy a motherfucking bro, genius. Bro, bro, like, 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 I ain't even gonna lie. Andy Dandy? made me go so motherfucking hard like this and and, I, and i'm saying this from the horse's mouth so if if the nigga ever was to say it he know you know what i'm saying it's you know it's the truth mm -hmm. this man made me go hard man andy remember that night we came over there and we recorded that pussy crew yes i was just finna talk about that man look dog the first time i got in the studio with andy i realized i wasn't going I wasn't as creative as I thought I was. Yes, yes. Cause nigga, Andy Dandy will hear some shit and will come up with some shit in 30 seconds. Yes. Like no exaggeration. Like you can hear, he can hear a beat. Like nigga, when we did Pussy Crook. Yeah. Man, that nigga heard that boot. That nigga heard that beat. That nigga heard that beat. He said, no, no, nice, nice, nice. Go back. I was like, that's it. That's Pussy Crook right there. He said that. He said, that's Pussy Crook right there. I'm looking at him like, all right, man, whatever. I left out the room. I came back. The nigga laid the hook. Yeah. Main Main was in the booth. Yeah. I say, dog, the nigga was dead serious. Same thing with Hey Nine. Yeah, yeah, Hey Nine. Yeah. Hey, boy, I fuck with yeah. that. Hey, hey Nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, no, the no. day, I, I never forget this. Thing, my bad, I don't mean to cut you off. At, at the time, he wasn't a visual, man. Like, he didn't want no visuals. Like, he wanted to be, he wanted to be, and this, this is why I always. Oh, I'm still like that. I don't. He's behind scenes. Like, yeah, I don't. He, he wanted to be like, like nigga. Cause times might get hard, and I might have got to do a crime. I don't. Nigga, you know, you know hey, me, nigga, ain't giving me the shit. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to be the nigga that if I get caught doing some dumb shit, rapper Mr. T. No, no, no. Torrance bro sad. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell no. So keep me out the videos. You know, my tag on the song is enough. I don't care. Because that's go back to what I was saying earlier. You got two different niggas. I don't give a fuck about being famous. I want you to respect what I do, and I want my check on time. That the business, as long as the business good and all that shit, man, shit. That's what I know May May for. Oh, yeah. I used to tell people all the time. That's why I fuck with May May. May May ain't do that. Yeah. Andy Dandy do that. Yeah. That's why uh, the dude Nino beats. Yeah. That's why we fell out. Yeah. That's why we fell out. I was like, bro, you ain't gotta be. You wanna be the cameraman. You wanna make beats. You wanna shoot the video. You wanna, you wanna, be an artist. You wanna do all that, man. You, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know, you know, I fuck with Nino. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't really like no problem yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, but. Yeah. I'm saying I fuck with him, but it's saying, you know, it's saying, it's saying when it comes down to this music and industry shit, this is a different ball game now. You know what I'm saying? Everything is digital. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you're not digitally inclined, like this podcast, like we, we we fucking with right now, you know what I'm saying? Shit, people starting to get paid off podcasts because everything is digital. People rather, you know what I'm saying? People rather, you know what I'm saying? Hear it 
or see it than actually just be live with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, people actually see it live, you know what I'm saying, versus, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and hear it live, or versus, you know what I'm saying, shit happening to come days after, you know what I'm saying, to come back to it and shit. Like, I mean, like, that's just, that, that's just, that's just what so the world is saying. Like, but they say mm-hmm. 5G, you know what I'm saying, 5G. He hit it on the head. Everything instant. And if you can't keep up with that shit, you're going to fall to the waistline. Nigga going to forget about you. Real shit. That's why I hit your ass up today. Like, man, that nigga man, man, talking about doing music. Let me get as many songs as I can get from this nigga while he in the mode. Like, you know what I'm saying? I had got, for for a minute, you know, as an artist, and I think every artist in their life, you know, reached this point, like, to get discouraged about, you know what I'm saying? shit could, you know, shit, first of all, if you ain't able, cause, cause the way this shit works these days, okay, as T being a producer and engineer, bro, how, how it work? Okay, well, I, I probably gotta set up somewhere and I can record, send him shit, you know, boom, 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 he put his shit on there and send it back to me. Versus, you know what I'm saying? You know, me having to physically come over here, you know what I'm saying? Record. I, you get, as an artist, you get discouraged, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have that writer's block. Sometimes mm-hmm. you had it, and if you're a true artist, you know what I'm saying. You you didn't have writer's block. You know what I'm saying. You didn't have you you didn't have you didn't have the words to say. You just couldn't get them out. You Man, I, I mean? think it go back to that shit I was telling you about uh, what Jay Z said. You know what I'm saying. It's, it's inspiration. inspiration, and and after you done rapped enough, you 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 lose inspiration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you when you, when you lose inspiration, you force the music, mm-hmm. and that's when you can't get it. You got to go find inspiration, find inspiration to come back and make some more music. You yeah, you gotta go see and see some different right, shit. Right, right. You might gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But see, look though. But I look, I look at shit different though. Like the, the shit that keep me rolling. Like a nigga like me or a nigga like you. Like, like you probably go through the same thing you I go through when I go to the grocery store or something. Niggas call you main man. Yeah. Nigga don't call you by your government. When niggas see me, they call me Mr. T. Mr. T. So niggas like us. I was talking to Andy about this one day. We can't afford to get discouraged in this shit. Uh-huh. Because the minute that we fall back, the first thing, if you fall off, don't record nothing in a year. First thing a nigga that know you for music going to ask you, man, what's up with the music? And I get this so much now. Bro. That's the first thing they ask you. To the point, bro, I didn't got this so much. I didn't got so many people reaching out to me like, man, you need to get this done. You know what I'm saying? And, um, bro, that would, that, that's what, you know what I'm saying? You know, and you know, it's been a minute since I, you know what I'm saying, since I hit you up on some music shit. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I, I've, been on, I've been on some family shit, but I've been hearing so much like, God only tell you, you know what I'm saying? God come to you in different ways, and He only gonna tell you so much. When He said, "Get up and go," you gotta go. go gotta go. And so when it went, when, when it kept coming to me, like, well, man, shit, you know, man, what the music, man? I, I'm ready to hear something. Like people actually was ready to hear something, bro. I'm like, well, fuck, I gotta get off my ass, you know, some kind of way and get some recording. Bro. You got to. I actually hit this man up because this man tell you for years, I wouldn't come to, I wouldn't go to nobody else's studio, I would record with nobody else, but T. I put this on everything. I wouldn't go to nobody else's studio. I wouldn't record with nobody else. I ain't feel comfortable. I wouldn't. This man here, T, even was the only motherfucker outside. Of, I'm talking about. Then I then I actually send you my motherfucking uh, social security number, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my mom, for real. I swear to God, bro. That's the, <laughs> and when it comes to music shit, I trust that nigga that much, bro. But see, the thing is though, nah, bro, and I and I appreciate that, my nigga. But the thing is though. I don't get when people give me compliments like that. I don't get cocky. I don't let it go to my head or nothing because at the end of the day, the only thing I'm doing, I'm a nigga that's about quality. Yes, sir. I don't give a fuck about the numbers of shit because you can have a hundred things that don't work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just want one thing that work. Yes, you see what I'm saying? So when you come to me and be like, same thing with Andy Dandy. You know what I'm saying? When y'all come to me and be like, man, I'm finna come through record with you. The reason why people all I cannot deal with a nigga for five years. When he ready to come back, he going to call me. The reason why? Because I can say one thing to you. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you, hey, man, I'm going to do this and do this and do that for you. But when I show it to you. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the reason why the nigga going to call me, that, that's like I told him today, man. Come through. I ain't got nobody. Come through. Let's do something. I'm going to treat his shit the same way I treat mine. Yeah, Real I'm shit. Talking about from, I'm talking about from the mixing and mastering. The, the graphics. Time. Everything I'm talking about from putting it out there, promoting. I'ma give you your money. Yes, sir. I'll I'll nah, you. man. Like honestly, bro, it, it ain't too many people that that I put in his category. Me, bro. Like real shit. Like even when I reach out to other people, I, hey man, 
I didn't. I didn't told many people. Hey man, my boy over there in Bozeman, man. This this man. This man didn't, didn't put me on so much shit about the music, cause that I kid you not, nigga. My mama even tuned into this nigga. Oh yeah. Like that nigga. Like that nigga don't get his flowers from from many people because don't want them. Be, because he <laughs> see and that, and that's why don't he, want them. like he, he's so fucking ducked off. Y'all worry me right now with these compliments. There's nah, too much bro. going on. I'm nah, like, bro. Hold on. <laughs> hey. Real shit. Like, yeah. Nigga gotta give me flowers while he here, cuz this nigga was the first nigga I knew that was getting Roger chicks. Do you feel what I'm saying? This the is first, first nigga that I was doing received, it. Received, received, and I can show you on my PayPal right now from Bro Set Music and Power. Hey, cuz. And still, and still fucking the game up with the beat mixtapes. Exactly. You heard yeah, me? I ain't gonna put now. too much of the game out there, but the nigga, the nigga still fucking the game up. You heard me? You gotta be innovative. That's what put me, like, that's like. What put me on if y'all notice now, a lot of these producers in the city giving away free beats now, mm -hmm. but they doing it wrong. They see me giving away free beats and they thinking that I'm just giving away free beats. No, 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 no. I'm these beats are streaming. I'm getting paid for these beats. I just let y'all download it for free, and the, and I'm gonna get a nigga some game right now. If I put a, a beat on motherfucking it, like I got that motherfucking page on my website, you can download over hundred free beats. If you rap on that bitch and put it on YouTube and it get a million. And they get a million views. That money go to me. <laughs> For real. They just giving away free beats. Exactly. I'm going to let you rap on it and get hot. But the money going to come to me. I ain't even got to ask you for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And see, and guess what? If he didn't want to pay you, you don't have to pay And nigga, if you don't, and if you try to go against the grain, I'm just going to flag it and get the shit took down. Straight up. That's what you call business, bro. It's just business. And a lot of niggas, like we was talking about earlier, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't fuck with a lot of people. Like when you call me, first thing I say, man, man, come through. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because I know one thing. Me and man, man can get in a whole argument in this bitch. Yeah. yeah. Ain't nobody going to get in their feelings. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. Fine, Straight up. I can't stand no nigga that. That nigga can tell me what's up, fool. I'm just it, telling you what's right. It is what it <laughs> is. And, 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 and T, you know, we done, it done been a million times. We done been recording, bro. And you'd be like, well, man, man, I don't feel like you added enough engine to that tape. Hey, look, look, hey, look, look, real shit. That's the only thing yeah, I was, look. Look, <laughs> look that nigga, May May, nigga, one day me and May May had a whole stop. We talked for like 30 minutes in the middle of the recording session. May May was like, well, man, you know, I just want to do it like, listen, I get what you're saying. May May, right back. No, nah, bro. Like, <laughs> no, nah, bro. Hey, man, go just take try that it for your boy. Just do it one time for, for real. me. And when I did, the difference is yeah. a nigga that do beats and a producer. Mm. Producer. Yeah, a lot of niggas not, niggas producers niggas think they producers niggas not producers niggas no beats. for real cause nigga cause the same way cause the niggas motherfucking 808 ain't even mixed out cause look 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 the same look. way this nigga will stop you and say hey man I would do that nigga the same yeah. motherfucking way yeah, yeah. Hey, nah listen bro that ain't, that ain't it, it. <laughs> that ain't it. Yeah, that ain't for look, real this the first this the only nigga that I would listen to that I would say hey man that nigga can rap like 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 that that, 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 that can tell you, you know what I'm saying, or that you respect their motherfucking words that much. If you just feel like you got it all down there as an artist, bro. Hey, bro, I seen, yeah, every time. I seen Jermaine Dupree do that shit. I was watching the video, and Jermaine Dupree was doing this shit to Trey Songs. He kept cutting that bitch off. I was like, damn. Mm -hmm. Like, cut, like, this Trey Songs in that bitch. Mm -hmm. And he and that bitch going hard. Well, you know, nigga, Jermaine Dupree said, hey, that ain't it. You trying you this nigga and nigga that nigga did pull the motherfucking Joe Jackson until he got that bitch right. Like nigga, like like that time motherfucking Lamb came down here. Yeah. That when I knew I couldn't fuck with the nigga. The nigga <laughs> made the nigga so hard. Remember the song I got performed? Yeah. Man, that nigga just gave me a hit. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't know the nigga then. We were doing music from he cause he from Virginia. Yeah. We'll be sending each other shit. He came, he moved down here one time, and I just found out how. I'ma just be real. I just found out how bitch made the nigga was. Yeah. Like real shit. He one of them niggas that just getting his feelings about shit. Yeah. Uh, we was recording one time and I was like, man, that ain't it. That ain't it. He's so used to having yes men around him. Yeah. He he was getting upset with me and shit. And I'm like, man, you really acting like a bitch. Yeah. I stopped recording with the nigga. Man, you gotta understand, bro, shit. When, when, when a person got beautiful ears, bro, you know what I'm saying? Shit, it ain't no room for error. That just, like, it, ain't, it ain't no room, ain't that no just, room for error. Especially if you want quality. That's your life period, bro. Yeah, for real. Like if you got people, you take, take yeah, man. If you got people around you that man. just go with everything and you want to do, just, nah. Like when we first, when you first, when you said the top five, P 
people got preferences. Yeah. Everybody ain't on. Everybody ear ain't the same. Mm -hmm. it, it's different. So yeah, I'm a. You may we may listen to the same song, and it's four of us in here, and we four have four different outputs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. You got to take that shit and turn it. You got to find a positive in everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you can't find a positive in a negative comment, it may not meant to be negative. It's the it's the it's the it's, it's just being it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of people a lot of people think the truth is being negative when the truth ain't going your way. It's the truth. Shit. And like like going back to what I be talking about earlier, why I don't fuck with a lot of niggas. Cause like like what I was just saying with May May. Me and May May can have disagreement all day. We don't we don't get into it. It ain't no feeling shit or none of that. And it's like that's how that's how a lot of niggas be falling out. A nigga will fall out with a nigga, like back to the yes men shit. A nigga have a bunch of yes men around him, and these niggas be telling him yeah all day, and that shit get him shot. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But if, if the nigga that came, that one nigga that came to you and was like, man, you moving funny, man, that's fucked up. You got rid of him. Yeah. When really, this, this nigga was the only one that was really fucking with you. That's the one that you need. That's one who really fucked And that's why when I fuck with folks, you know what I'm saying? I want to be that nigga. I don't want to be the nigga, man. That nigga told me. That nigga, you know, I'm, I'm going to ask my nigga T. I know he going to tell me what I want. No, nigga, I might piss you off. Yeah. You might call me on some fuck shit and I piss you clean off. Yeah. I'm, 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 for, for. And, and, it, and we can fight do whatever because at the end of the day, I love you. The rest of them niggas, they, they going to let your ass get killed out there. Yeah. And guess what? Because, nigga, if you go do some dumb shit and you don't you tell your mama I told you to do that. <laughs> sure don't you dare. I got, I got a homeboy nigga. His mama used to always tell me, man, we'll leave the house. Watch my son. Watch, watch him. Mm -hmm. And I, and to this day, matter of fact, last time me and you talk, you say you be fucking with the nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My nigga nice. Yeah, yeah. To this day. Yeah. To this day. And I love nice to death. But I don't fuck with nice like that. Because nice don't fucking listen. Yeah. And he probably listen to this right now. I don't give a damn. Because he know <laughs> I love him, though. He know I love him. Nice beast. That's my nigga. Oh, yeah. Bro. The most talented nigga I ever met in my life. Yeah, the boy can play the drum set. Yeah, yeah, the boy, the boy called. The nigga can rap a song and play the drum set at the same time. And, and, and he don't understand his own talent a lot of times too. Nice as motherfucking me, no cool cat. When a lot of shit come natural, no cool. motherfuckers nah, don't nah, understand. It's, nah, that's different because cool know his lane. Lane, yeah. Cool. Cause like if you if you dealing with a nigga like me, for example, you don't see me trying to be in front of the cameras and all that shit. Even though a lot of people think I should be that nigga. I, that ain't what I want to do though. That ain't my lane though. So that a, a, a lot of time niggas be holding they self back, not knowing what lane they supposed to be in. Yeah. Cause nigga, you might be in the lane that's going two hundred, and you ain't going two hundred. Yeah, and you I don't know. even know this man. About to, to get ran over. About, about to get ran over. Just, 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 just being around you. I'm like, he just gave me. He just gave. He, he just gave me them vibes of like, you know what I'm saying? What a fucking manager or somebody is. Like a role manager, like some, a person that can just go out there. And, and it looks like you can hold a conversation with a person and see what that's yeah. what a lot of people don't understand. Real shit. Like, yeah, yeah. You got that. You got I that English got bro. That water in there. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, that bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I had a little you can have Chino left in here. Yeah, you can go talk. I can't be like, I forgot Right, right, right. You ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? My approach to people, you know what I'm saying? Gonna be, you know, yeah. be a little bit more aggressive. See, yeah. you got that classy man. Man, business, business, business shit interests me. Yes, business shit interests me. And see, that's that why I just, just off of intake, just off of sitting this man, you know, this podcast right now, sitting there looking at this man. I'm, I'm getting the image of like, damn, this nigga is a whole fucking manager. And, I know it. and like, nigga, they go back to the people that's around you, though, nigga. Yeah. Cause look, you see these niggas, they my age. Yeah. These, like, it's only a handful of niggas that I hang around my age. Yeah, yeah. It's only like four or five of them. The rest of my partners, 40, 50. If I can't learn nothing from you, yeah. what I'm sitting around you for? Yeah, I think I'm that, I think I'm, I think I, I think I, ever, ever since I've been coming around, I think I've always been the youngest around you, right? I think, for real. Gotcha. Nah, it was that nigga Rodney. Rodney, okay, yeah. Yeah, Rodney the youngest. Yeah. But, I just hit 30. You know? Yeah, I turned 30. I turned 31 next month. Shit. Y'all niggas some goddamn babies, man. I just hit 30, bro. I, I, yeah, I turned 31 next month, kid. Yeah, I just hit 30 this year. I can't believe it, nigga. Yeah, man. I just hit 30 this year, myself. See, see that what you, that, that what I say, man, if y'all ever know, like, motherfucking, before, uh, 
Oh, uh, motherfucker, what's his name? Two Chains came out with a song, bro. That nigga mastered his motherfucking his business. He had that duffel bag boy. Mm -hmm. After Real shit. Bad boys, you know that that man didn't make another song until he was about 30, 31, 32 years old. Mm -hmm. And that's when For he real. came out with a whole motherfucking album. And guess what? That nigga own, you know, 10% of the Atlanta Hawks. Real so, shit. So, dude, boy, I seen that. Hell yeah. And, and, and it's just like, well, damn, what that nigga did? That nigga sat back and he messed up. Man, you Hawks. know what's crazy, cuz? In my younger days, probably about 15 years old, I experimented with the rap and shit. And, uh, nigga had. I forgot the name of the, the record label. Dude wanted, dude basically was interested in, in me and the dudes I was rapping with. But I told him straight up, like, hey, bro, I ain't gonna even lie to you because I'm a, I'm a whole basketball player out here. That's my... Yeah. I, I'm not gonna give you the music you want because I want to play basketball. Yeah. Simple as that. But shit, that's when I started getting intrigued with the business part of the shit. Yeah. The mm -hmm. business part is everything, man. Everything. everything. And you got... And it, 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 you got so many talented people get fucked over because they don't know the business. That they go to what I was talking about earlier, nigga. Like, I got jumped because I was telling niggas to worry about the business. Yeah, for real. The time I got jumped, yeah. that's what I got jumped for. Yeah. Cause I was telling niggas, cause I ain't want to be a yes man. Yeah. And I was the only one saying what I was saying, so I was the one that got jumped. You feel me? I'm but on the other, on the other shit. yeah, but over there that happened. Uh. By Cassio? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. when 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 Cub ran. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Left me out there. Shit. <laughs> but look though, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like the yes man, like I, I was the only one saying what I was saying in there. Cause everybody else wanted to record and do all that shit. I say, no, I know how to get paid now. Yeah. Like all this music ain't gonna benefit nothing if we don't get paid. paid off of and niggas didn't like what I was saying, and it's like Cause I never lied on nobody. I never said nothing that was false. No. And niggas, I hurt niggas' feelings or something. You know what I'm saying? But like, I learned though. I learned a valuable lesson then, because, uh, and I want to, I want to talk to you about this too. Because when you get to a certain point in your life, you gotta make better decisions. When I got jumped that time, I had the chance to get on some straight nigga shit. My people was mad at me. I fell out with niggas because niggas wanted to retaliate and all that shit and i was like nah yeah. what i'm on right now that shit gonna fuck it up yeah. and guess what i ain't break a bone i ain't bleed nothing it, it, i'm from the hood nigga i done got my ass whooped before yeah, see what i'm saying but my homeboy he wanted to do something that was so stupid and every time i talk to him i ask him all the time i say think about where we at right now because he got his own business and he doing shit yeah. you know what i'm saying nigga from new orleans he doing his thing. I was like, bro, think about if we would have did that. We probably still be motherfucking sitting somewhere with no bun. For real, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that, and, that and like when you was talking earlier and shit, I was like, shit, cause man, man got into a situation where he got got a gun charge and. You know what I'm saying? Be murder, nigga. And then yeah. and, and then shit, that's one of them situations where I had to tell that nigga. I was like, you want to know why you got into that situation? You want to focus on no music? Hell no. Nah. You want to focus on no music? Hell no. Nah. And that's why, outside, even outside of music, you know what I'm saying, shit, I man, this nigga done had a relationship, you know what I'm saying, I'm talking about, it done been times, I probably just came over there, and we done, we just sat on the porch, on God, and just played basketball, the last time, but I still owe you for the last time, with my ass in basketball, man, you can't beat me, man, I don't eat no meat and shit. I got a good diet and shit, man. You ain't gonna beat me. Man. <laughs> That's the only reason why you lost last time. Cause I ain't get tired. <laughs> like a motherfucker. Nigga, I was out there trying to dunk and shit. It was times like that though. You feel what I'm saying? People don't understand. If you can get a, you know what I'm saying, relationship outside of, you know what I'm saying, just the business world, bro. But then that's a, that's a, that's a personal relationship. Bro, that's that's my that's 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 my nigga, dog. Yeah. Like, if, I, if I can, if I can only. If I can only be around you and tolerate you when it makes me some money, yeah. we probably ain't cool like that. Yeah, hell, hell no. Nah. It, it ain't it ain't real. Hell no. Nah. But one thing, one thing I can honestly say, bro, this nigga ain't never told me hell no, nah, nigga. Don't come to yo. If I didn't hit nah. bro, bro, even even if I'd have been on some shit, nigga, if you I'd were I'd whack, type shit. yeah. If the nigga were whack, I'd have been like nah. Man, you know, shit. I've been doing. I'm talking about it. Man, time, bro. I, I done came, bro. Hit, hit, hit this man over 
like with T. You know what I'm saying? Dog? I ain't got a dime in my pocket, hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, yeah. like, nigga, fuck that nigga. Come over, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Long as the song fire. You nigga, I'd have been around with my nigga that shit the trap down. <laughs> no. Nah. I'd have been around with my nigga that shit the trap down. Oh, no. Nah, that shit that used to happen on Rosemont. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah. My boy, that shit right. the trap down. But nigga, on my mama, nigga, uh, shit, man, we man. We been in this bit for a little minute. We probably need to cancel this shit. Y'all boys want to talk about something? Cause we just been we just been running it. Or we could take a break and come back. Yeah. Which I want to do. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next break is uh, uh, sponsored by the NLFA. <laughs> if you have the will and drive to play football, but you don't have the credentials for college, or your college does not have a football program, I'm Robert Calhoun, Vice President of the North Louisiana Football Alliance. Join us today. Till we hit the two hour mark. All right, let's talk about bitches. We're going to talk about bitches. Because I had to tell a bitch one day. You know, hoe be trying to make niggas jealous and shit. And they be trying to like. I don't know if y'all be going through shit like ever, ever did with, with no bitch that do shit like this. Like bitches that be trying to make niggas jealous. Like they want you to, they want you to do a certain thing. And they make you seem like, oh, if you ain't going to do it, this nigga will. And I'm so quick to tell a bitch, well, let him do it. Facts. <laughs> yeah, facts. Let, let him do it. Let the guy do it. Because I'm not finna even try. Now, and look, and like, I don't want to shit on bitches or nothing. But women don't, uh, like I was telling, I was talking to my homegirl. She, me and her was talking about the situation she going through with her baby daddy. And she thought I was just going to be on her side. And it's like, and in all reality, most women these days, even if they ain't trying to, a lot of women trash as fuck. Yeah. And they and they it ain't a lot of it ain't their fault. It's it's what they got coached and grew up on. You see what I'm saying? Cause it's so many it's so many women out here that think if they give you some pussy, you supposed to do all this shit for them. Bitch, I gave you some dick. What the fuck? Man, that's an even exchange. Exactly. A favor for a favor. So a lot of it is a lot of it is, you know what I'm saying, like uh, you know, like Chris Brown said, these hoes ain't loyal. Okay, you got niggas with money, and you got an average nigga that probably work a nine to five, and you got broke niggas. Okay, so they categorize niggas so much that niggas that start to categorize each other. See, a woman can inspire another woman, but no nigga can inspire inspire no other man without being, you know, a, a homosexual or you know some shit like that. You know what I mean? And that that that's the problem. I'm gonna say. You know that that that's my main problem with females. You know what I mean? Okay, so you got so so y'all categorize niggas as broke niggas. So I guess just because a nigga ain't spending their money on you or nigga won't flaunt or trick off their money, they are what you broke. what you be what you be telling them, Sean? Don't let that reverse psychology work it, it, on it's you. It's reverse psychology, man. That's what it is. Oh, I want this Birkin. Oh, you can't buy. It? Oh, broke ass nigga. Nah, bitch, you can't buy it. Obviously. Obviously, you hear me? Shit. Yeah. That shit with verse psychology, man. Okay, so I'm going to say if, 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 if. Because the normal nigga. A bitch. A bitch will what? You know what I'm saying? Out the blue, break you off. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 if it was that simple. Yeah. I mean, because it's bitches out here with money. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And you got some, some bitches that, you know. Here's the thing, with. though. Here's the thing, though, because a lot of niggas don't pay attention to it. And they don't, they don't, they don't notice that women do this, right? A woman will buy you something, right? And that shit will be, let's say it's $20. She spent $20 and got you something. But she doing it because she wants something in return. return. And guess what she want in return costs $2,000. Exactly. So she think that's even exchange and it's not. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That ain't, that's not even. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you bought me a pizza. <laughs> For real. You see what I'm saying? You want me to buy you a fucking Chanel bag. That ain't the same thing. And then the first thing they, because I done had it happen to me. Well, I bought you woo 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 Bitch, that shit was $4. Exactly. A whole, a whole, Hell yeah. Whole. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you can't be serious. Like, yeah, and they, and they, and they, and, and trust me, they, they be serious. Like, because. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whole, like, like, nigga, I got a list of shit. But bitches I gotta, gotta know who they dealing with. That, that's another thing, too, bro. That's another thing, too. I be telling niggas all the time because I be hearing niggas complaining about 
complain about the bitches. Cause me, I put everything on these niggas. Yeah. Even though the bitches be doing shit, it's these the niggas. niggas listen, let them do it. If it if it wasn't simp ass niggas out here doing the shit for these nothing ass hoes, they wouldn't even expect it from yeah. nobody. It, that, that's what give them the expectations. That'll shit. make cause, cause nigga, if they ain't, if they ain't got no nigga that's doing that lame ass shit, them hoes will have no choice but to step their game up. You got niggas, that's it. You got niggas that throw it in their ear. Oh, that nigga broke ass nigga. Yeah. And, and that's what that's, that's what go back to being that broke that, that they categorize. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So much shit because I think I feel like you know circumstances change situations. I think what make you broke. Man, yeah. what? Say it again. Man, Say it again. I feel like you broke if you ain't got no get up and go. Man, if you just sitting there allowing the, the broke shit. Yeah, shit. shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To build up. Now, that, that's, the, that's what a broke nigga is. Yeah. A person that, 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 that can't go make no dollars. Yeah. That, that, yeah. Have no, that have no means no by me. Right. Because yeah. 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 it ain't about his pockets being broke. The nigga's soul broke. Exactly. Straight up. That's what makes you broke. Too. That's some real I mean, shit. And see, and see a lot. And, and people think money. Man, money does not make you a broke nigga. Hey, you man. A lot a lot of people don't even a lot of people look at money so different now because like the type of world that we live in. Motherfuckers look at money as a as okay. as a necessity instead of looking at money as a tool. Cause money is a tool. At the end of the day. Just like I tell niggas about the streets. The streets is a tool. It's just it. a stepping stone. You can make all that dirty money and make it clean tomorrow. Exactly. If you know how to use the shit, you gotta know how to use the shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just like with money. Because, nigga, I know you, it's niggas out here get a million dollar check and in a month it's gone. Because them niggas didn't know how, they didn't know how to use that tool. The m money is like a hammer. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a tool. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas be thinking, like with the rap shit and shit, like I be telling niggas all the time, niggas be thinking you got to have a big ass bag to start this rap shit. Yeah. When really all you got to have is about $50. Yeah. All you got to do is pay for that, dist uh, that distro kid account. So you can distribute your music and you can you instantly start making money back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's not about having a hundred bands. You can start your rap career with a thousand dollars. But it's back to what we were saying earlier, like, do you have that broke soul? Yeah. Cause that's what holds niggas back. Yeah. Not you know what I'm saying? Kill a lot of people. Not doing. You that's know it. What I'm Cause if you ain't got the knowledge, like you say, cause you spend fifty fifty dollars on the distro kid account and you making your money back. Mm -hmm. But then you got the other people who started spending, spending, spending. When you can make this one little step right here, and they feel like, oh, this gonna pay me back in the long end. That what kill people right there. We'll come back to knowledge is power too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, knowledge sir. is everything. Because, because yeah, but a nigga don't know it hurt. But since we talking about bitches, and then let's 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 go to that then. Who raised you? Because back back to the back to the <laughs> bitches thinking that nigga just because they give a nigga a piece of pussy, a nigga supposed to pay her bills and all that shit like i had a woman in a, a, like one of my situations to where when a nigga moved over here baby you can live with me see if we fucking with each other like that but guess what though if you don't because a lot of these bitches niggas don't understand that most of these bitches don't know how to conduct themselves amongst men they they can handle they, they can carry themselves amongst males males and men ain't the same thing the male ass niggas them be the niggas that let a bitch do whatever the fuck she want and shit like that. So when a, if if a man approach a bitch and say, "Hey, baby, you can come up under my wing," it depends on what type of bitch you got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the bitch I was fucking with, she wanted to have her own life. She wanted to live two different lives. Yeah. She ain't want to be up under a man that ain't gonna let her do that yeah. bullshit that she used to doing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So she ain't she ain't want that offer. So guess what? That's cool. But guess what? If you create your own lane, guess who got to drive in that lane? You, you do. Yes, we going 200 over here in my lane. You obviously can't go 200. Yeah. So go over there and do 50. You can't go. You can't really go. Yeah. go do 50. Yeah. And whenever you ready, maybe you can catch up with a pimp later when I when I lap back around. Because I'm going to lap back around. Over here. <laughs> you going to get fucking passed up over you here. Gonna crash out you know what I'm saying? Ball, your ball gonna and then, out and oh, then but, but you got the males, like, like a man will tell a bitch, nah, a bitch, I ain't doing it. But a male will come right in. You want to know why that woman will be like, well, fuck it then. Because she can go find her a male that's going to do that. A nigga that's going to do it. And, and a lot of times, niggas don't do it. Because... Oh, no. Niggas going to do it. You got to realize, bro. Like, like, a lot of shit. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of niggas who can't. A lot of niggas really ain't, ain't on, that, on that shit like that. Like you say, being straightforward. Mm -hmm. So, I, I got to get the bitch in any way I can. And that's what he going to do. If and I if I toss a dollar, I know this bitch gonna come back. Yeah. And that that nigga over there ain't doing it. Mm -hmm. 
Shit. And that's and that's where the gang get fucked up at. I mean. You know what I'm saying? That's where the gang get fucked up at. Cause niggas using their money is is you know what I'm saying? What's I you can't you can't knock the nigga for doing it. Hey, if you ugly and you can't get the bitches cut, by all mean cut, by all the pussy you gotta buy. Man, I know nigga I know niggas look like Chris Brown, man, be out here. Can't talk, can't talk a bitch out of draw, man. Man, like, and then, and then, and then the whole thing is, what you got to realize, a woman, if a woman gonna fuck with you, she gonna fuck with you, man. A you bitch gonna fuck regardless. Why not? I mean, like. Because I tell niggas all the time, money ain't never got me no pussy. Money ain't never got me no pussy. Most of my life, I've been broken shit. <laughs> like, hey, like, bro. And nigga, you can ask my brother, I done brought through some of the baddest hoes. Nigga, Real come through, shit. hey, boy, hey, boy, hey, you fire her head. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I got this bitch on Twitter. Oh, you feel me? <laughs> I, the first night I fucked this bitch, we was in a trap house with no electricity. Because they ain't, appear, they, like, they, they ain't what they appear to be. Like, a lot of them ain't what they appear to be. See, a lot of people just live up to that, you know what I'm saying? Live up to the popularity. In, in Shreveport, bro, this, it, to me, honestly, it's popularity. Country. That's all it is, is it? Like, like, in the end. Because, because if, it, if it was more innovation around here, bro, it'd be more business. Street Bowl is the whole untapped market. Is what they call it. An untapped market. Man, look. Nothing around here. That's what I was telling. Capable of it, but when I first came up with the distribution shit, that was my whole thing. I'm trying. I'm trying to get all the motherfuckers I know and tap into this market. Yeah. Cause the first motherfucker tap into this market, the Master P way, the way P did it, yeah. it can happen right here in Shreveport Bowl the same way. Real Cause shit. that shit wide open. And most of the niggas that got the the means to be that. They probably even hating on a nigga mm -hmm. or got grudges with a nigga or, or, or just want, like the nigga say, shit, you want to be Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Everybody want to be Michael Jordan. that's the biggest problem in, with, with the fucking music industry. Yeah. Everybody want to be the GOAT. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, shit, hey, man, it is what it is. Everybody ain't going to be hot. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and, and when you got that hot person, like, regardless of... You gotta, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about riding that nigga wave. It's about, you know, following that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Man, kick the door down and yeah, fuck it. Sir. Kick the, kick no, the door down and open right. this bitch up. If I know, if I know, if I know more you gonna get in harder, in. why not? You know what I'm saying? Man, these nigga, like my nigga John J say all the time, man. These bitches is hoes. Yeah. These hoes is bitches. bitches. These niggas is hoes. Therefore, these niggas is bitches. bitches. Cause these niggas, the reason why, the reason why niggas, the reason why black men can't come together, it like like the difference between men, cause cause I got men around me that we do business together, so I ain't gonna even say it's like that. But you got men and you got males. Males can't come together and work because remember there was a time we all at a certain age to where we grew up in the nineties. Yeah. There was a time to where everything a nigga did got got money and everything. Everything he did was to impress a bitch. You see what I'm saying? And we all know we didn't deal with women. Everything women do is to impress a bitch. Yeah. It ain't nigga, bitches ain't getting fly in the club to go pick up the the, the nigga. They 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 competing with the other bitches. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? But now it's to the point that well niggas think like that with other niggas. Mm -hmm. It 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 ain't about it ain't about impressing bitches no more. Niggas trying to impress niggas. <laughs> that shit weird as hell. Like niggas like niggas will be like, hey boy. I remember there was a time where, bitch, if you go buy the same shoes as me, we might fight. Yes. I want to be the only nigga with these. Shoes, yeah. Man, nigga, nigga, see you with them shoes. Boy, where you get them shoes from? Next week, all them niggas got on the same shoes. Shoe, yeah. That's what bitches do. Female. That's what females do, man. And that's why I be trying to explain to people, like, even with my homegirls and shit, when I was talking to my homegirl, y'all need to learn how to understand. Like I said, I put it on these niggas. Yeah. But the bitches be choosing these niggas. Y'all yeah. got to understand the difference between a man and a male. Quit running behind a nigga because he got some money. Because look, look. Them same, them same niggas with that money, nigga. You can go stay with them niggas. You can, you know what I'm saying? Niggas cannot make you work. But, you know what I'm saying? You ain't doing what it takes to, 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 you know what I'm saying? To, to keep them around. Them niggas gonna throw your ass. Them niggas nah, gonna... nigga, it's deeper than that. Because yes. the bitches don't even know what they be getting into when they get these niggas. Yes. Like, like, bitches don't be know the niggas that they be fucking with. A lot of these niggas be so insecure. Yeah. He, gonna, he gonna come to you. I tell, like I was telling my homegirls all the time, if a nigga come to you and tell you how much he can buy you this and change your life, don't fuck with him. No. Because nigga, nine times out of ten, he came up to you because he know he can buy you. Yeah. So he ain't trying, he ain't, he ain't finna, he ain't finna take you and go start you a business. 
or he ain't finna take you and go, that nigga finna take you and put you in the house. He don't want nobody to see your fine ass. Because one day, one day you probably gonna run into a man that got some money too. And she gonna know the difference. You know what I'm saying? So that nigga wanna lock you in the house. He don't want you coming outside. He don't want nobody to see you. You can't work. You can't do. I was fucking with a bitch like this. Bitch didn't work or nothing. And I was like, baby, you don't understand. You having a problem with me because you don't understand. I'm being a man with you. That nigga was locking you down. I want you to be great. That nigga didn't want you to be great. You got you to gotta know which niggas to choose. Like, bitches don't be knowing. Most of these niggas that be coming through trying to. They, they, they buying y'all. They buying y'all. Man, look. The, the nigga homeboys come to the house and shit. Want to play 2K with them. That nigga want to throw the bitch in the closet. Tie the bitch up, put in the bathroom. Oh, he don't want God. nobody to see the bitch. I mean, yup. Yeah, but, but, but I respect a woman. You know what I'm saying? If you got a, if you, okay, let's just say, say, you know what I'm saying? It was one woman in here right now. And you got us five males that's in here right now. I'm going to honestly say, out of respect, I don't feel like unless you, you know what I'm saying? Unless you finna, you know, chime into what the fuck we doing in here, mm -hmm. I don't feel like you need to be around. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't no insecure thing on me, my end. And I don't feel like it should be an insecure, uh, insecure thing on another man's end because. Hell no. Nah. Hey. Shit, what, why would I want, you know what I'm saying? I know I wouldn't want my girl, you know, unless now, of course, if one of them bring their girl around, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's different. But if it's a house full of niggas. Hey, cuz we in this bitch. In we the, in this bitch, me reversed. and my boys. This me and my boys. These ain't your motherfucking friend. Yeah, exactly. Carry your ass back there and talk on the phone and go to your homegirl house. But look, though. Check this out, though. Me and Corey was talking about this on the last podcast. You know how many niggas that can't say that? Because that motherfucking house that, that, motherfucking house that he at, that's that bitch house. Bitch house. Yeah, shit. <laughs> that's that bitch house. Hey, that's you what ain't a, telling this bitch that's what, what to do here at all. That's that's that the plan field change. That's that bitch house. plan field. See, 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 and it, it, we, we give, I ain't gonna lie, we give a lot, a lot of females a lot of power, cause you know what I'm saying, shit. I don't give them shit. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm talking about as, you know, typically as males. Reason why I say that is because, shit, if a bitch on, you know what I'm saying, you know, sex and all some shit like that and getting food stamps, blah, say, blah, say, who shit, me personally, I was just telling you as being a nigga, who ain't gonna take the, the that lead way, you know what I'm saying, you know, shit, especially if all I gotta do is hustle and make mm -hmm. money and pay you goddamn $2 on some rent. But see, look though, you just hit it on the head. You you coming in and even though you trying to do something for you, you you willing to do something with her too. Yeah. So it's y'all working together. I'm yeah. talking about the niggas that come in just to take. Yeah. So you talking about putting in with the bitch. Yeah. I'm talking about the niggas that's just coming to take. Oh, yeah. Like like females choose them. And it, and that like I be telling bitches all the time. I got a lot of homegirls that I talk to when they want to talk about certain shit. They call me because they know I'm gonna keep it one thousand with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And not only am I gonna keep it one thousand with them. Bitch, what you did? Yeah. You ain't just finna, you ain't just finna sit here and talk about this nigga, cause I done had bitches do that to me. Nah, bitch, what you did? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, like, I tell women all the time, y'all need to know the difference between a man and a male. You know what I'm saying? Because and and bitches be really letting these niggas buy them, and and tricking them into, like, man, I was fucking with a chick one time, man. The bitch was basically a prisoner for five years. I swear to God, she pretty much was a prisoner for five years. And then when she started fucking with me, same shit he was saying. I was broke this and broke. I got my whole every my own everything going on. I ain't got it like that, but I ain't never I ain't I ain't never finna ask you nothing. I ain't never finna take nothing for you and your kids. You just mad at me because I'm not doing what this duck ass nigga was doing. And you don't understand that I'm motivating you. I'm talking business with you. I'm I'm not running game on. I'm I'm giving the game to you. I ain't running it on you. See, I'll be telling women that shit too. You gotta know the difference between the nigga that's giving you the game and running game. Cause as long as you ain't coming up, he running game. Real shit. You see what I'm saying? Man, this same bitch that was talking all that shit, man, got her own car, crib, all that shit off my motivation. See, I ain't put money in your hand. I gave you the game, go put your own motherfucking money in your hand. You ain't gonna never forget me. You gonna respect me forever. She don't, she don't respect that nigga that was doing all this shit that she couldn't do for herself. Man, that nigga, that's handicapping them. Yeah. And, and that's what, that's what niggas do. Like what, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You got to take, take the bitch yeah. leg from up under. That's what they do. 
like like bitches will do shit like like I said, be trying to make a nigga jealous and shit. I had a whole one time tell me, uh, cause I be telling my young niggas all the time, you gotta learn how to ration that dick from the bitch. Make the bitch miss you. Don't just be don't just don't don't, don't just be out here throwing dick. Like she could just get the dick when she wanted. Nah, mm -hmm. bitch, cause the bitch do you like that with the pussy. Oh god. You see what I'm saying? But uh bitch gonna tell me one time, give me some dick. I say, no. Nah. She said, I'm finna go get it somewhere else. I say, please wear a condom. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's how you handle them bitches. Cause man, bitches playing manipulative games all day. You can't play with me like that. My mama was a savage. I know exactly what to look for. You got me fucked up. And that's where it's going to play there too, bro. When you just hit the nail on the head, it's your upbringing. Oh, yeah, these niggas. If you got a mama around that you seen, you know, just pretty much dog niggas out, I mean, you ain't going to be that nigga that get dogged out. Hell no. I mean, and, and, and I done seen that growing up with my mom. I done seen my mom, you know what I'm saying, motherfucking niggas hit her hand with some money, she damn near slam the door in their face. You feel me? Man, nigga, I used to, my mama had a boyfriend one time, I used to go to her house, nigga be sitting on the couch, I used to ask him, nigga, you still here? <laughs> you ain't got tired of this lady yet. <laughs> like, real shit. And, but, but you got the niggas that was, you know, mamas that was always, you know, getting used or probably getting beat in front of them and shit like that right there. Mm -hmm. And they feel like that's like that's that's the way that they supposed to. That's the way them. you handle. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I think it play. I think the shit play hand in hand. I think I think it's your upbringing. Yeah, I think, mm -hmm. I think it's what you see when you're growing up. It right? is for, for real. Cause, nigga, Cause if you don't know different, cause you ain't gonna go by what you know. Man, look, I was arguing with a nigga on Facebook one time, cause he was mad about something I was talking about with bitches, and I was like, bro, you don't even understand. You don't even understand. I knew he was a nigga that came from a single mother household. I said, you don't even understand. Your mama didn't raise you to be a feminist. For real. You a feminist with a dick. You don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Cause the same shit, like 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 the niggas about that be having the money and shit, right? I be laughing at niggas. Like like a nigga go to a bitch and say, "Bitch, I can buy you this. I can do this and do that." You just told, her. and when she expected, cause I I know niggas that be cashing hoes out, going pick them up, buying them something to eat or nothing. The bitch never give them no pussy, right? Cause she the bitch know who she can play with. She knows she can do. Once the nigga realize, man, this bitch ain't gonna fuck me. Now you mad at the bitch. She a hoe, she did, she a gold digger. No, nah, nigga, you came to her like that. You came to her like that. Now, if you'd have came to the bitch and said, bitch, we can make some money together, that bitch would have always known she got a position to play. But if you come to the bitch and you got the bitch thinking that bitch, all you got to do is lay there, she just going to lay there. See, I seen a nigga put on Facebook, bro. I feel sorry if your boy ain't got no money. Like, nigga, you don't even all right, so what's fun shit, nigga? Mm -hmm. I was just about like, to say, what's fun? I, 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 exactly. Like, what's fun shit? Because, nigga, if, if I come into the type of money that you niggas got, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I've been fucking with this one chick that been down. Well, we finna get this bag different. Mm -hmm. I know you know how to do something good, and I know I know how to do something good. We're going to, all right, let's put this money toward this. Yeah, put, yeah like, like. Let's put this money toward real estate. Let's put this money here toward, you know what I'm saying, buying us some, you know what I'm saying, this, this set of land right here. All right, now let, let, let's get our credit up to this point. Boy, let me you ask know? you this. Let me ask you this. Since you touched on it, because I be I had to explain this to a bitch one time too. Let's say it's a nigga, right? He make $100,000 a year, right? He telling this woman he want to be with her, he want to start a family and all that shit. He making $100,000 a year. Before he go buy a house for his family, before he go get his kids a backyard, a driveway, a front yard, they own space. Before he go do that for his family, he go get a new truck. He's still living in a small ass apartment. Baby girl, he ain't trying to upgrade with you. Nah. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga saving his own chips. Yeah. Cause if he really wanted to build with you like that, he'll go get the house. Yeah. He'll go get the backyard. Yeah. He'll go get the, you know what I'm saying? He'll go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, even if the nigga gotta drive a Honda. Yeah, you know, he he gonna go get that he gonna go build that platform for his family before he riding clean. Exactly. He gonna go do for his family. You know, that, that, that's a mistake. I'ma say that, that that's a value that's been broken for years in the black community. Because if you ever noticed when white boys get on, bro, 
these niggas be driving some of these motherfucking me little Hondas like you said, mm-hmm. and shit until you go to this nigga house, house man. Decked out big as a motherfucker backyard big. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Drive and guess what? His bitch probably drive a better car than him. But His bitch drive a nice car. And, but over time, guess what happened? That nigga time coming. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying? And you never know. He probably didn't put his, his wife through school to be a motherfucking nurse or some shit. He, he working out. See, that, 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 that got took away from the black community, bro. You know what I'm saying? By, by, you know what I'm saying? What we see, the appearance. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And that's why I say, you know, uh, you ain't no broke nigga until your morals broken. Until you ain't got to you know, get up and go about yourself. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, like, get categorized, bro, as broke. Because they don't, they don't have they don't have the the money at the time and circumstances change the situation. You know what I'm saying? When I say circumstances change situations, I mean like shit. This 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 mm-hmm. is the situation that I'm in right now. Yeah, I'm money, broke. Money come and go. Exactly. Money come and go. Facts. And if you really like like nigga, I had a homeboy nigga. He wanted to argue me about this, but I was like, dog, if you really want some money, money everywhere. Everywhere. Money everywhere. Yeah, yeah. If you really want some money, quit crying, bro. The nigga was crying about some shit. Go get it. Man. He was like, he was like, and the nigga was like, what you mean, nigga? You know, ain't no jobs out here and all that. I say, look here, bro. Fine I come from a different background. Selling. I come from a different background. If I was crying like you and, and I couldn't get my daughter this and my daughter couldn't eat and all that, I swear to God, man, I would go rob a Mexican. You feel me? Straight up. Remember that? You feel me? <laughs> you feel me, bro? Look. Hey, look. Yeah. On my mama. If it's that bad to where I'm crying on the phone with another grown ass man, yeah, like that, I swear to God, man, listen, God forgive me, but I gotta, I can't feel like this. Yeah, it's so you know many what I'm ways saying? to make a dollar though, like, and that's why I be looking at certain niggas. I be like, man, you don't want that shit like you say you do. Niggas want a handout, bro. Yeah. That's what they want. Yeah. It, but man, just honestly, cause it's it's simple. It's find a service and sell it. You can go in your you can go in your refrigerator, take a pack of chicken out, fry that bitch, and make a side and sell that shit. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. real shit, man. It's so you can do anything to make a dollar. One, per, at least one person gonna buy it. Man, at least one. At least you, one man, buy it. fuck that. You know how many people don't want to cook every day? Mm-hmm. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole bunch of Exactly. You gonna sell out? <laughs> fuck one person gonna buy it. You gonna sell out? Shit, fucking with these hoes that can't cook. Shit, you. Man, like it's 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 that simple to come up though. For it's real. that simple. Nah, man, that's what I tell people. Period, though, man. You find you a service and sell it, man. Anything you do, cut grass, make shirts, nigga. Uh, you can record people in the studio, cook, clean. Man, people make money cleaning up houses. Man, I got a homegirl make sixty five dollars a room cleaning houses. Mm, Straight up, mm. like it's it's. If you ain't making no, if if twenty twenty ain't push you towards being an entrepreneur, towards to man, you it's can do route. anything like that, cut and make a dollar, man. Yeah. Any any nigga that didn't find no hustle in twenty twenty ain't never. You're done. Gonna be no hustle. Hell no. Cause nigga, like I was telling my little young partner the other day, I was like, man, I'm just so a nigga, just so blessed. Like I have to wake up and thank God every day because a nigga was ahead of the curve. I been niggas used to laugh at me when I was talking about doing my website and having an online business. Niggas was like, "What the fuck is you talking about?" Mm-hmm. Then the coronavirus hit. Niggas couldn't go outside no more. Yeah. Yeah. My shit didn't stop. Yeah. My shit didn't stop. It slowed down because people money got funny, but it never stopped though. Some people shit stopped. Stop. Like niggas that got businesses to where niggas if if don't nobody come in that bitch they don't make no money. Yeah. Niggas shit stopped. I mean, you see what I'm saying? And it's like it's so many motherfuckers that just. Through the whole 2020, man, nigga just sitting there being broke. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, bro. Man, cause I'm watching people selling cupcakes. They they selling anything. Anything, bro. They anything. And see, and see, and see, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, bro, it go, it, it go back to the get up and go. Cause uh, you know what I'm saying? You know shit, besides, you know, fucking with the music and shit, you know, I'm a bar. Mm-hmm. So, man, from the time that I came back to Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? To the time, you know what I'm saying, that I just, you know what I'm saying, just really just put it out there that, that I'm a barber. Man, my clientele went up just that fast. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about to where she, I can be sitting over here right now, motherfucker, I'll probably hit me, hey man, you couldn't today, blah, you know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That, that's get up and go. I mean, that's get up and go right there. A nigga found something you know that somebody needs. Find something that puts you, put you in your own zone. And a nigga gonna forever need a haircut. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, uh, our 
probably a little line up or you know. Nigga, I'm balling still go to the barber shop. You feel what I'm saying? On my mama. On me. So like like it's it's like it's different ways to make money, you know what I'm saying? But but you got them niggas like I said, you got them you got some niggas like, you know what I'm saying? Money making Mitch over here. <laughs> you know I, mean? I, gotta, I gotta call them money making Mitch. <laughs> for sure. Because you know, some people just and you can't you can't knock them for, you know, no. being born hustlers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people just like they just but if we can teach, you know what I'm saying, with, with my age I feel like with bro being around me, well look bro, shit, I can teach you a different way. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. The only thing we gotta do is get on. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we gotta do. And, and I keep that. You know what I'm saying? I probably not see this nigga for a month. And then just out of the blue, just pop up. You know what I'm saying? Come. You know what I'm saying? Swoop him up. You know, it's on the level of the world. When he get around me though, the energy up. He he know one thing. I ain't even just talking about. You know what I'm saying? No bad, no bitches. I'm not just talking about. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's go fuck off. Let's go get drunk. Let's we leave each other. We done learn so. Man, mm-hmm. you know, like you gotta, walking away from you know, man, you look, you, around, you, around, you, around, you, around, you ain't around nobody. Man, when Real I woke shit. up, when I woke up this morning, man, I swear to God, it was so crazy. I had, I took my kids to school, man. And I was riding. No music on, no nothing. Cause the first thing I thought about, man, I'm grateful for everybody in my life. Cause everybody around me, I learned from in some kind of way. Yes, yeah, man. Real shit. They say the drunk man tell the truth, bro. Shit, they they ain't mean like you actually had to be drunk. They mean like shit because they call drunk people crazy. For they real. call crazy people drunk. They call them the probably think they on drugs. Probably think they, I mean shit go deep, bro. Shit. It ain't even about being drunk. I look at it as being just being vulnerable. Be vulnerable. Real yeah. shit. Like, Cause a lot of motherfuckers like back to that image shit, man. Especially when it come to motherfucking like black men and shit. Cause man, dog, I be so motherfucking hurt when I be seeing the shit. That black men do to each other out here, and we at war with everybody already. Everybody, like nigga, we are our own worst enemies. Though, see, reason why we are our own worst enemies because, I, like I say, in this modern day, bro, we be we, we being categorized, bro, like so motherfucking me bad to the point of either you a bitch ass nigga, bro, or you a real nigga, or you gay. <laughs> nah, we. Hey, please. Hey, uh, uh, LGBT community. I ain't see that. I said that, and I said it that way because you know what I'm saying. I can deal with a gay person when it come down to doing business with them. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know you can't change. You can't change nobody. But look, you know what though, Bob, with the gay shit though. But the thing they treat me out with men being gay. I would just want to know why you got to wear makeup and a dress. Yeah, why you got to exploit it so much? Why you like, why you got to be a gotta, woman to be gay? Yeah, why, right. Why, yeah, why you got to force the fun these kids the way that y'all are doing? Like, it, and that, 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 that's my biggest pet peeve is the way that I feel, I feel like that most parents are forcing upon their kids because they allow them. Let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. Uh, we, as far as being gay in the black community and shit, who, who made that shit cool? Because I blame I blame that shit on black women. Like, you'll never see no straight black man hanging out with no gay dude. But you'll see women hanging around this nigga and got this nigga thinking he doing the right thing all day. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm going to say it get allowed a lot by women. It get allowed a lot by women. But it's not just a lot by women. It's these niggas <laughs> out here fucking with these niggas. You ain't lying, boy. It's these niggas yeah, out here yeah, fucking with yeah, these niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's these niggas out here fucking with these niggas, bro. And these niggas now then got the image in their head that they're bitches. You know, not to just say every woman is a bitch. I th- this is just, you know, podcast. This is just my this is just how I speak. You know what I'm saying? About, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, trust me, dog. Yeah. Then you ain't but, you know, <laughs> they know Mr. T be going in. <laughs> uh, every week. <laughs> Yo, bitch gonna be a bitch. Like Yeah. If you put yourself in a role as a bitch, okay, well, you can't expect for everybody to respect the fact that you're a bitch. <clears throat> I mean, like, honestly, in, 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 in the LBG community, they want people to respect them as being something that they're not. Mm-hmm. But I ain't never look at it like that. You know? Like, like the way gay dudes be, gay dudes, gay dudes be acting like females and still That's expect, like they expect you to respect them as men. I ain't you never know, thought about I'm that. Not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. The reason why I'm not now, if you was a gay man, bro, you are gay. Cool. 
But I know faggots out here, bro, that's dressed up in suits and ties. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That 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 look like they're regular men. I can right. fuck with that. Right. I, I can respect. I, yeah. I can respect I can do business it. With, yeah. Uh, what I'm not gonna do business with, bro, because you know he, he may be a faggot. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, bro. But he never came at me like that. Mm -hmm. You know. He never, you know what I'm saying? He never rubbed me the wrong way. I probably could have been this man here cutting for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he never rubbed me the wrong way. He never tried to, you know. But then you got these niggas that just because you do this type of shit will feel like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he got to be trade. You know, they got mm -hmm. different languages. Trades and, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this right here, bro. It's gay. <laughs> gay is gay. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Say, look yeah, at it's gay. It's gay, man. Straight up. I don't give a fuck how you want to look at it. I mean, uh, the only difference that I don't like about it is women, you know what I'm saying, accept it more when it's coming from a woman. That's oh, yeah. the thing I don't respect. The reason why I don't respect it, bro, is because I feel like, me personally, I can respect a man that's gay. You feel me? Just keep this shit away from me. But Good shit. Women... Won't fuck with a nigga that fuck with niggas, but yes, they do. But that fuck. that that's half the that's problem. They don't know. Yeah, but, I can say they don't know. But females will fuck with. I mean, niggas will fuck with females that fuck with niggas. But see, it's a whole gay community now. What, what you got? What, what you don't understand this shit? If you gonna respect, it's, it's double, they put respect. double standards on that shit. Exactly. They put double standards and on that my, shit. And that's my whole thing about it. Like. And I see what no, you're I, saying. I, I Cause they want a homeboy that's fucking no punks. No you know way. What I'm Hell no. no. Way. You know that you have a homegirl that's fucking a bitch though. Exactly. But you gotta also look at it like this. A woman, it ain't really justifiable. But to me, I look at it different. Yeah. You know, because even in the Bible, women, they would put him, they, they fed him. Yeah. A man, we ain't, you know, we, you know what I'm saying? Men. Mm -hmm. So he, Probably expect to see a woman because they feel them. What 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 films do they? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 See, I don't understand it. I got uncle. I got people. Yeah. Yeah. That's gay. You hear me? And I can I can respect that 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 flatboy shit. Like when you throwing it off on this generation, you ain't giving them no chance, really. You heard me? I got cousins. You know what I'm saying? Cause you they ain't come around kids. Look at you ain't gonna be able to tell. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But that's cool. And guess what? And when they go places, and you know I ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? I got I got a cousin right now. This gay. You know what I'm saying? Shit, when you come around, fool. Everybody smoke with him. Mm -hmm. Fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Everybody treat him. You know, him and his boyfriend. His boyfriend and came part of our family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, but they don't dress like females. That's what I can't yeah. do. Yeah. Like I can, females. I can, you know, I can stand there, male, I can stand there, like take a picture with a gay dude and everything. If a nigga standing there with a wig on, dressed like a bitch, I can't I stand can't by you. I can't fuck with Hell no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, you clowning. That's how, yeah. that's how I look yeah. at it. Like, like you putting on a, it's fake to me. Yeah. It's like it's like you trying to persuade us that you gay. Yeah. You could be a whole man. Yeah, I mean, if you wanna fuck with, you know, women and then fuck with niggas, all right, well then Oh, I don't trust sure them people. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I mean that's just that's just that's nah, just, nah, that's I, just I got I got a pro I got I got a problem with bisexual people. Yeah. You confused motherfucker. No, 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 it ain't about being confused. Yeah. You, yeah. you selfish. Yeah. You greedy. Yeah. You want everything. You want everything. I can't trust you. You'll steal something. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. As soon as I tell you you can't have the shit, you're going to steal it. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Fuck. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't, man, you're going to be bisexual because now nah, you just going to be gay. Going to be gay. Exactly. That's, that's, my, whole, that's my whole point. Yeah. Why you want to fuck with niggas and you want to fuck with bitches? Nah, just going to be gay. With? Bitches and fuck with niggas. Like my boy, I mean, like my boy T say, cuz. Like, like, like T say, man, hey, stop sticking y'all dick in these niggas and then come and fuck up my beautiful bitches, man. Yeah, man, shit Cross weird. Cross that line man. and stay there. For real. For real and that's why nigga, when it, like, like this list I got talking about these bitches. A nigga going in on these bitches, but 
it's cause they didn't fucked with a certain type of nigga that they yeah, act like that. And, 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 and another thing, well, I don't, I don't like the shit. Females, are, cause what it done start doing now, it done start making females skeptical of every nigga they fuck with. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, oh, well, oh, oh, well, if this nigga didn't hit me up, you know what I'm saying? Or if this nigga didn't, you know what I'm saying, clap back as fast as I thought, well, he must be this. He must. Just because a nigga don't give you that, 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 that energy that you expecting, don't make a motherfucker gay because you gotta show me some motherfucking proof. You gotta show me, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, this is just me personally. You gotta show me some proof. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that your ass ain't gay. Like, yeah, shit. that's how women think. Like, honestly, like, the first, it, 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 with the, and this will end it. Oh, you gotta show, until you prove that a woman that, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what I'm saying? Your masculinity, it, you know what I'm saying? It is, you know what I'm saying? What you say it is, fool. Mm -hmm. Like, you ain't gonna get no respect out of no woman. I don't give a fuck who you is. Hell like, no. Not these days, because niggas done said it to where bitches don't trust the fact that niggas don't fuck with other niggas. It just, that's just, that's just what it is nowadays. Because I done ran across so many, so many females, and I'm like, well, damn, bitch. The last nigga you must have had. You heard me, like, and that's, yeah. if you look at it, like, that breakout thing, it, it might sound mad to me. I say 75% of the women is gay. They gay. It's, it's, always, it's the same thing I've been saying. Well, he say, T, you know he's always like, one bitch out the click eating puss. Yeah. If, 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 <laughs> look, man, I'm, look, I'm telling you all, I done seen it with my own, I done seen it with my own eyes, man, them hoes get high, them hoes get freaky, they, them hoes be licking all on each other, then them hoes, yeah, yeah, man, look, them hoes, them hoes go to the club, they come in by themselves, they leave by themselves, they high, they drunk, man, they finna go get freaky, I done seen it with my own eyes, and I, and I, and I, I know I see a half of the females on there agree to that shit that, that women eat cat better than you know niggas and shit. Like I like I done seen this type of shit. Mm -hmm. Like it's respected though. Like that's my whole my whole thing. My whole point of that was it's respected. And that, that's one thing about me. No, I don't respect no man that dressed like no you know what I'm saying no woman and shit. You know because to me a lot of times the shit is, is confusing. I don't know. And just like I don't respect the bitches that dress like me. I don't, I don't respect. I don't, I, don't, I don't respect the bitches that dress like me. Honestly, like that's it. They, they play, they play, they play the, bit, the bitches, the bitches that dress like motherfucking men are worse than the they're niggas worse. that they they're worse than the niggas that dress like bitches. Yeah. Because uh, if I done seen the nigga, a nigga that dress like a bitch at the end of the day, let's say he get into it with a nigga, he'll throw hands with a nigga. Yeah. If if or, or a bitch, if if a bitch out there dressed like a man she acting like, woman, yeah, one, once a, once a man confront her, yeah. and because yeah. she giving off that man, in, oh now you're a woman. Now you, but you were just bucking at this nigga like you finna knock this nigga out. Yeah, For as real. As soon as the nigga was to was to use that, like I said, a masculinity on a woman, you know what I'm saying? It, it's different. Like I mean, I teach my daughters right now. You know what I'm saying? Don't hit no little boy. Mm -mm. Don't go. Don't, don't no. go. Just putting your hand on no little boy. You know what I'm saying? Now, if a little boy just out the blue put their hands on you, that's what you got me for. Like yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I sit there and fight no man. You know, and that's with my sisters. You know. It, it applies like if you if you want to be a woman be a woman mm -hmm. if you want a motherfucker to treat you like a woman be a woman if you want to be a man be a man if man. you want a motherfucker to treat you like a man be a man my mama always if told you're gonna me. be stuck in the middle your ass gonna get tripped in the middle and now look For i want to i want to say this too back on about these bitches a lot of y'all niggas need to quit believing these bitches a lot of these bitches be out here lying on niggas, man. Really? Because they know they can. Yeah, they can. Because they know the society we live in. They know that the odds is up against the black man all day. So, nigga, as soon as you piss that bitch off, that bitch can lie and say you did anything. <laughs> so, y'all young niggas be careful out here. Man, for real. Because these next four years finna be real hectic with Joe Biden and Kamala in them. Yeah, believe that. You got it's finna, to. It's finna be a lot more niggas converting to feminism and uh, a whole lot of more Me Too cases and lying ass rape cases and it's gonna be a whole lot more of that shit but you know what though but you know what though the whole me too movement and shit if it was only women 
agreeing with that shit, it wouldn't work. It got to be men agreeing with that shit too. Exactly, bro. Men yeah, run yeah. the world, man. Yes. Men, if if a room full of men say, "Hey, we ain't doing that," it's not happening. It's not happening. Hell no. Because you got you got to think about it, shit. If a room full of a, a, a room full of men come together, you know, it's a different ball game. Then you know, if you know, men and women was to come together. Mm -hmm. shit, everything gonna be about you know power when men come into play. Mm -hmm. I mean, shit, when women come into play, everything gonna be about something, something, something yeah. got peace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's gonna it's like when women come into play, it's about finesse. Yeah, it's about this shit here. Yeah. When men, it's straightforward yeah. power. Yeah. It's straight power. I got more power than you. I got more this, and it's all about that shit. But yeah. see, with women, that's when the finesse come in. I mean, I mean, like real shit. Find, they gonna always try to find a way around. You Cause they so mean? manipulative, man. Yeah. Like, I tell motherfuckers all the time when it come to bitches, when niggas be talking about bitches, I say, man, look, I ain't never read the Bible in my life, but I know the stories. I was like, look, bro, you got to think about it like this. Let's say the whole Adam and Eve story is true. The bitch had everything and she was never satisfied. No satisfied. That's the, that's just, that's the way of women. You can get a bit, every, the bitch can have a list of everything she want. You can knock off everything. If you see it now, if you see it now, bro. The women. Oh, we can get into another subject, boy, if you want to go there, because the devil tricked the bitch into eating the, the apple, apple. And now the same devil that got Eve to eat the apple is the same devil that's breaking up the black family right now. Exactly. Because you know look, motherfuckers like to talk about the, the, the motherfuckers try to blame the black man for the yeah. black family being fucked up. Oh, no, 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 no. When the bitch, when the white man presented government assistance to the bitch and said, look, bitch. We'll give you all this shit as long as you keep that nigga away from the shit we giving you. That's what broke up the black family. Okay, right. no, 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 no. And that's why black that's why black women don't respect black men. Nineteen forties to be exact. Let's talk about it. Yeah, white women that want to motherfucking be independent. You know what I'm saying? Like they want to be independent. Making these shirts with these women. You know what I'm saying? But see, it 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 didn't. What black women started doing? Well, I want to be this too. In the sixties. And then what See, in the, in the 40s, hold on, let, let me break it down. Yeah. In the 40s, white women decided they wanted to be equal with men. Yes. But see, they was doing their protests and all that shit. It didn't work when it was just white women. They had to go recruit black women yeah. in the 60s. When they recruited black women in the 60s, they told black women, hey, fuck that nigga. You don't need that nigga. Fuck that nigga. And when they finished protesting, the white bitch went home with her husband and her kids. The black bitch, black home, she went home to her kids and her mama. Exactly. Or grandma. Whoever the fuck is watching them kids with the bitch at work. See what I'm saying? And black women, they don't never want to talk about that. When I when I bring that up, women do not want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that. Because they don't want to be they don't they don't want to be accountability. They don't want to be accountable. They don't want to be because nigga, the black men, the black men, we want black women. Y'all don't want black men. Because it ain't because that y'all don't want black men because y'all chase these niggas all day. You can't have that nigga in that house as long as you getting that assistance from that white man. That's what it really is. Yeah. It ain't the fact you don't want this nigga. It's the fact that nigga, if you let that nigga in, he a bum. He can't take care of nothing. So therefore, you would rather depend on the white man than him. Because you know when it comes down to stability, he can't be stable. Yeah, ain't no way. And then, and then a lot of men have trouble getting assistance. How many we don't get no fucking assistance. Boy, I done been out here hungry than a bitch. Boy, I couldn't get food stamps. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and my whole thing is you got people that's actually making the money. You know what I'm saying? They really can go buy the fucking food. That's getting food food stamps. stamps. Real shit. Them white folks, though. White folks and everything. Like, but yeah, man, like the black man didn't ruin the black family, man. When the white woman decided to partner with the white man. I mean, when the black woman decided to partner up with the white man. That's when shit got fucked up. Like they gonna come, they come in there every first of the month, early in the morning, they come in there and they looking around. And the first thing they motherfuckers wanna say, I keep my house clean. They ain't looking to see if your house clean. They looking to see if that nigga's ID is on the nightstand. They looking to see if that nigga's shoes in the motherfucking bathroom. They looking to see if his drawers in the dresser. Yeah, make sure this nigga ain't hiding in the fucking drive. You know what I'm saying? That's what, cause nigga, as soon as they see, oh, you got a black man in here, you outside. You and your kids out. And black women don't never want to have that conversation. Yeah. Like, 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 and then that, that, that's how you separate, though. That's how you separate, like, 
you know, strong black women from, you know, these weak-ass black women that we got out here, bro. Because, shit, you got some weak-ass black women. Mm-hmm. You got black women that, you know what I'm saying, shit. I just seen nigga go to jail. Mm, she holding it down. You ain't got a word. You ain't got a question of loyalty. None of this here. I mean, and then you got the ones that go to jail, shit. And who? Fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry. Yeah. I mean, do we do we blame them? Nah. I mean, but in a way we can because if you got a nigga that's out here and why he out here, you know what I'm saying? Hustling because that's his only way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all can say, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm speaking to all black women when I say this. Uh, yeah, y'all, y'all can say go get a job or, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter how much money you making. You know what I'm saying? As long as you, hey, that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Because a nigga can be working at, uh, 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 the, the average nigga that can't get a job that's a felon or whatever can go work at McDonald's. And then when they go to McDonald's, ah, uh, that ain't enough. Yeah. You know when he done upgraded from McDonald's to Popeye's. Like you seen that, uh, you seen Unless that. Unless you making them stacks. And then when a nigga take them risks, you know, to make them stacks, then, then what happened to him? Mm-hmm. That's why. That's why I say. That's why I say you can blame the bitch because you knew this nigga was hustling when you got with him. Yeah. You know yeah, everything yeah. that come with that lifestyle. Yeah. So if he get jammed up, mm-hmm. you signed up for everything yeah. that come with it. Everything that come with it. You signed up for that shit. Oh, they don't want to talk about that though. And you know, you know. I mean, shit. I, that's why my baby mom white. Yeah. That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And I don't be trying to rag on and, and talk down on black women. But, man, listen, y'all got to understand. Y'all be trying to make it seem like it's us. Man, it's y'all. Man, black, black, women, are, black women are like, 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 like my homeboy say. And we want y'all so bad. I mean, the, 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 I mean uh, uh, God's most beautiful angels, nigga. And what was, what was God's most beautiful angels? The devil. Same nigga got Eve to eat that album. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm Same nigga presented government assistance to the bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Same nigga. And shout out to that motherfucking pimp for that Jedi mind trick. We ain't doing no player hating. If the motherfucker wanna fall for the game, let him fall for the game. Just know you ain't got me. Homie. Yeah, down. I ain't falling for it. I ain't gonna hate on you for cause if a nigga gonna fall for it, nigga gonna fall for it. Shit. Who am I to hate? Yeah. You never hate the player. You know what I'm saying? Man, but 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 and the only reason why it work a motherfucker fall for it. If everybody stopped falling for it, it won't work. You know what I'm saying? But guess guess who ain't guess who ain't doing that shit? Black men not doing that because we can't get no fucking assistance. Nah. If and, and even if the even if the if a white woman presented government assistance to black men and say, hey, we're gonna give y'all all this shit, y'all stop fucking with black women, we probably wouldn't even do that. We couldn't. What? Nah, man. We wouldn't even turn our back on black women like that. But they don't see it that way though. Hell no. They don't look at it that way. They look at it as they look at it as, you know what I'm saying? Because women are more of opportunities. Man, listen. My daddy told me this a long time ago. He said, men build shit. Men, men, men live to build shit. Women live off survival. Wherever they can migrate, men build, women migrate. Yeah. If, if it's not working over here, she, she got four or five niggas in her phone want to save her right now. Mm-hmm. All she got to do is pick one, then she could be over here. That don't work, she over here. Men can't do that. Nah. Nigga, if I fall on my dick, guess what? I gotta get myself off my dick. If a if a woman fall on her ass, all she gotta do is call that simp nigga. That nigga gonna come rescue her and them fucking kids that ain't here. Yeah. Power the pussy. Yeah. Power the pussy, man. For real, power the pussy. Like, see, people don't, women don't understand this shit. Like you say, shout out to the nigga that started pimping. Cause hey, uh, if a nigga can put some game in the bitch here and make make a little get money, which now everything is digital these days. Motherfuckers doing goddamn only fans. Cause nigga, a bitch, a bitch gonna you always see a bitch online just to shake their ass. Man, shit, niggas, shit that you can see for free. Look, nigga, I seen niggas. Remember that time we was when OG from BR was mad. Yeah, niggas don't pay that money to see your feet. Bitch, you nigga, see you, you nigga should, and shit. you nigga shouldn't be paying these hoes to see anything on the internet. <laughs> we want to see that so, so if you pay twenty dollars a month and she want to show her feet, guess what, duck ass nigga? You shouldn't have gave her twenty dollars in the first place. And you pay, and you paying the bitch up front. You know exactly what you want to see. You want to see some pussy, boy. If you don't go to Pornhub, on my mama exactly. Cause you, don't, you got hoes on there playing with the other dogs. But shit, niggas just play they. You know, nigga, play they self though. You gonna go pay some shit up front, and that 
don't know what you're getting. You paying up front. Look, man, 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 man. Back to what we was talking about that time. Because, nigga, we was talking about that one time, nigga, and I was like, bro, that shit don't make no sense to me because I ain't never walked in the trap, right? I ain't never walked in the trap and just took whatever a nigga recommended to me. Exactly. No, bro, you got five different flavors. I want to see all of them. Yeah, I won't shit. touch all of them. I won't smell all of them. Bitch, I got papers. Can we smoke one of these motherfuckers? Yeah, you, you ain't just finna tell me, man, shit, this the shit right here. Get it. No, nigga, that's the shit that ain't selling. Yeah. <laughs> and, you th and you think you can get some of it off on me. No, sir. What the? What's in the motherfucker bags? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? And I stay here all day. For real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's all that OnlyFans shit is. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas going off the the motherfucking the, the avatar picture and shit. You pay her $20, nigga, and the bitch showing her feet. Bitch on there eating chili dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did say that. Talking about bitches eating chili dogs. Like, man, look. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, we don't want to see you eat. We want to see that pussy. On, but look, though, they go back to these bitches, though. Like, every bitch. And nigga, I learned this. I learned this watching my big sister. Because nigga, she used to run these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Every, every bitch know who they can play with like that. Yeah. When it come to men, man, look. I was explaining this to my young nigga, man. If you dealing with a bitch, this could be your girlfriend. Yeah. This could be your wife. She got five niggas in her phone. That, that she got wrapped around one of these fingers on her hand. Mm -hmm. And if, if you don't do the shit. Nine times out of ten, she get one of these niggas to do it. And only women can do that. Men can't do that. Because we, women, women. I'm going to say we can, but then nah. it'll be, be a bomb-ass nigga. No, 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 no. We can, but the thing, the difference between men and women, before we can get certain privileges from the opposite sex, men got to prove themselves. Yeah, women yeah. ain't got to prove shit. shit. All the bitch got to do is be fine. Yeah. Man, I done, I done, uh, I done, I know niggas. They get played by bitches, and we'll be talking about the shit. And I'll be like, damn, man, you did all that for the bitch? And I turn around and ask the nigga. I say, say, well, what the fuck she ever did for you to want to do this for? You know what nigga say? Man, you know, man, the bitch was so fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, nigga, that's it? Yeah, yeah, man, the bitch was so fine. See, you one of them niggas that won't lock a bitch up in the house. Yeah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody else to see the bitch. It go, it go, like, like, like you say, though. Yeah. It go back to that. It, it go back to you know what I'm saying. With like, it's certain shit. Like, like I say, if 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 a man father was in his life, his whole life, well, he didn't see how his his father done been with only his mama, not knowing what the fuck they done never went through in their life because his dad was shit, this and that, boy, blase, blase, blase. you know. But what he have seen, he didn't seen that she his dad done took care of home. His dad done made sure his mama was you know straight blase blase. So. He could be doing, you know what I'm saying? He can be doing all them same things and fuck around, get cheated on, and he find out about it. He ready to go kill a bitch. Mm -hmm. But you got the nigga that was, you know what I'm saying, sitting around watching his mama, you know, fuck off. And, you know, they kind of know everything about, you know. Like, bro, when I was. But when at I, the same time, all you got to do is get out there. Ex ex experience the best experience teacher. The best yep. teacher. Nigga, experience the best teacher. I mean, teacher. when I was growing up, fool, I used to think my daddy was just the meanest person ever on the planet. I never understood why he was so mean to my mama, right? <laughs> until I started fucking with bitches. And it was like, hold on. Now I know for a fact that all that shit they was doing, they both was in on it. It was a 50-50 partnership. But I'm just seeing what he doing, and I'm spending most of the time around my mama a lot. You know what I'm saying? Listen to what my mama's saying. You know what I'm saying? Because my daddy don't give a fuck about explaining itself. So I'm just listening to what my mama's saying. Then I, then I grew up to realize, hold on, man. Them motherfuckers was in that shit together. That's why she never left. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Because they both was, it took two. You know what I'm saying? But most niggas just sit back and don't put no fucking, ex none of their experiences into it. They just listening to their mama. mama. Yeah, yeah. And I ain't, man, me and my mama got a fucked up relationship because I've always been a man about my shit. Like, I ain't just always go with whatever the fuck she was saying. Mm -hmm. And I, I never really understood why our relationship was fucked up like that. And I was like, damn, my mama don't fuck with me like that because I ain't her yes man. Hey man, I was at work one day. You know what I'm saying? And that shit, once once I realized it, I forgave my mama for everything. Hey, I was because you were just trying to mold a nigga into some shit that you want. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't going. Not player, son.
<laughs> I was at work one day and I asked a nigga, I was like, we was in a, uh, just like a group of niggas, we was just running. I said, uh, how many of y'all felt like y'all mama was one shit? I ain't gonna say my mama one shit. She was a dog though. Yeah. But it, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> niggas didn't want to. Niggas didn't want to speak on that. Oh, stop, Marcus Clove. I say she. I know my mama played the game. <laughs> I, I know my mama played the game. <laughs> if, if I'm sitting back looking at you know what I'm saying the shit that my mama did, hey. and the older I got, bro, I had to sit back and say, "Well, damn." Hey, cause my mama, my mama my gave me game on a lot of shit. Us, you know what I'm saying? And my mama was doing all this shit, bro. I gotta respect this. Nigga. Hey, cause like, like nigga, like this is another thing niggas don't uh, niggas don't take into consideration too when they be dealing with the female. Cause like a lot of niggas will deal with a bitch. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I be so quick once I see certain signs in a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I be quick to dismiss a bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even blame her all the time. Depend on what she doing because. Like my ex girlfriend, I never blamed her for none. She how she used to act because I knew that one, you just came from a duck ass simp nigga, and two, your stepdad a duck ass simp nigga. You was raised under a duck ass simp nigga. Man, them the two most important factors. You know what I'm saying? You think you think you think the shit that your daddy did for your mama is man shit, and in our reality, he a simp ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Your mama. He been chasing your mama for years. Your mama never really liked him. But when nice when, her, when her appearance started going down and her sexual market value started going down, she had to settle with this nigga. Yeah. The only nigga that wanted her, the last nigga that wanted her, she had to settle for this nigga. Yeah. And you think he being a man and he being a duck, a nigga duck, duck, goose. <laughs> <laughs> and you think, you think that's the way shit's supposed to be. Because your mama ain't never had to prove nothing. So you don't think you got to prove nothing. Baby, you crazy as hell. Your mama really lucky. You yeah, might not. Bro. Your mama was in a different time. You, see, yeah, you, you know, might not know. never find a nigga like that. That's what females don't understand either. They don't get that through. They, they don't get that through. They knocking it out. They think that, they think that shit is just supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you meet a nigga. You know what I'm saying? That shit's just supposed to start happening right out. No, yeah, soon the bitch give you some pussy. You ain't getting nothing out of it. It's like the work you put into it. That's the fuck. And like I be telling niggas all the time When I be hearing niggas talking about these bitches I be like bro What do she help you with Like like nigga a bitch can never make me feel a certain way You know I got my own thing going I don't ask you for nothing So guess what If you want to be upset about something I'm doing or not doing I don't need you for nothing My life ain't going to change if you disappear Go over there with him let him do it exactly. See how you like that nigga We take a lot of risk a lot of times That's because of bitches though like we 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 don't sit there and go to jail. We we you know yeah. what I'm like, like like I'm saying like like we take a lot of penitentiary chances just to you know what I'm saying maintain the you know what I'm saying the the value of what a man is to a female. Trying woman. to keep and up. A woman can't never tell the man what a man is. Like mm -hmm. that's just my thing. Like I don't feel like I can never you know play the role of a woman. You know what I'm saying the importance because I feel like this right here like yo. Yeah, Women do what the fuck they gotta do when it come down to take care of kids. You know, a lot, a lot, I'm gonna say a lot. Yeah, a lot of shit women do is you know important. Niggas, oh, yeah. niggas play, niggas play a, a, you know what I'm saying, a, a, probably a 25 percent role in the child life when they, mm -hmm. when they mother play a 75 percent role. I'm talking about going to the school, taking her to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? You know, All daddy gotta do is bring the money home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Home. And a lot of times niggas probably just go pick their kids up for the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got them just for the weekend. Just them, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, five days after the week, the mama got the child. Two days, the daddy got them. Mm -hmm. three days, the daddy got them. Man, we can't never equal up to the amount. But I feel like if roles were rever was reversed, like women say, can a man do this? No. I don't know. I look at it different. If the roles was reversed and men had to do what women do as far as... That's different. But see, that's what I'm saying. If if men had to, let's say roles was reversed and the woman had to be the provider and the man's at home with the kids, a man will eventually get into that role. A woman can't go out here and do what men got to do. Prime example. You ever seen a fucking woman working in the oil field slinging that sledgehammer? Yeah. Hell no. You see women driving? You yeah, they, they are driving trucks and shit now. But I'm just saying, there's certain shit like like if if the roles were reversed and men had to do what women do, men could do that because a lot of shit that they do ain't it don't take a lot of strength, it don't take like muscle. 
women can't do what men do simply off of muscle. Yeah. I don't care how much weights to lift the bitch lift. I don't give a fuck how much of a dyke she is. You will never have the same anatomy in your body as a man. We talking to anatomy and, and biology here. Yeah. You will never be a fucking man. You could pump yourself up with testosterone all day. That shit eventually fade off because you don't have natural. natural. It's not natural. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I be like, I be looking at women like, hold on now. You might not want to switch roles with that nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you probably can't do what he do. It might take him a minute to get used to being at home with them kids. They getting on his nerves. But he would, as long as he, he keep repeating it and, and the repetition come along, he can get used to that. Yeah. You will never be able to swing that sledgehammer like Mark Henry, bitch. Yeah. Never. For real. You never will. You'll have to come up with a robot to do that shit for you. And that's why I'd be like, but it is some shit that men can't do. I can't see myself pushing out no baby. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was one of my things. Like, I, don't, I couldn't see myself pushing out no baby. Or carrying no baby. Honestly, and it's just me personally. I couldn't see myself sitting around no fucking house all day with no kids. Like, I feel like I'm wasting time. I feel like, even though I have. That's what he was saying. Like, yeah. Yeah, if you, know you if you have to if you have to you'll yeah, do it. But if if I know that my baby mama got my kids, bro, you know what I'm saying, whether I'm in the house with them or not, you know what I'm saying, it's still it's still gonna be my word gonna have some kind of say because mm -hmm. you know what I'm, I'm gonna be out here getting it. I'm gonna make sure that I'm providing for them. Mm -hmm. You know. Now, what what a problem coming in it is women don't you know women don't respect you know what I'm saying a man as a provider protector you know what i'm saying all that shit equally as we do like a man can have all respect in the world for a woman for being a mother or their child you know but that's not saying that you deserve it you deserve this respect or because women think just because you got a child by them they deserve a certain level of respect mm -mm. and you don't like because you gotta show me something too respect desire exactly never you show me something too now if you're doing everything it, it takes for my kids man you better show my kids eat every day you know what i'm saying you do man i'm gonna respect you for that mm -hmm. but if it come down to the opinion that i have that like maybe i don't want my child wearing a certain color hair shoes the girl or, or if my little boy i don't want to wear no tight ass pants i don't want them a certain kind of shoe okay if, if if you if you can make them kind of demands you gotta be able to you know do it yeah uh, yeah and you know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of niggas fall off it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can make these demands, but y'all not able to meet them. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? When it comes to a woman. And a woman ain't going to respect you, like you said, until you show You got to prove yourself. You got to show action. You got to prove yourself. But the thing is, though, because you can prove yourself and a woman still don't appreciate that. Appreciate it at all. That be, that be the thing where, because nigga, I've, been, I've known situations where a nigga... Nigga break his back for the bitch. Bitch ain't got to work. Bitch ain't got to do nothing. This nigga out here working 12, 16 hours. You know what I'm saying? Getting money. You know what I'm saying? 80, 90,000 a year. The nigga getting money. He taking care of the family. He taking care of you and them kids that ain't here. You see what I'm saying? But women don't appreciate shit. That's why, I, like, when I was talking to my partner one time, I was like, man, you was doing all that shit. What the bitch do for you? You know what I'm saying? I know niggas, I know niggas, man, that they bust their ass for the bitch. Bitch ain't got to do nothing. Nigga come home, house ain't clean. No food. Nigga come home, no food cooked. Soon as he walk in the door, the kids running to him. Daddy, I'm hungry. Well, damn, nigga, this bitch ain't cook y'all nothing. Why y'all got to wait till I get here to tell me y'all home? Look, day. bitch don't suck a nigga dick. Bitch don't. Just no appreciation. Like, I be telling bitches all the time. Like, when I was talking to my homegirl, I was like, well, you saying he don't do this and do that. What do you do to inspire this man to even feel like he need he to need do that for you? That man, that man, when you say the nigga be disappearing, he might be going where his motherfucking energy and time is appreciated. You, he probably don't feel appreciated fucking with you, bitch. That shit go both ways. Go both ways and especially if you, if you looking for a man to provide for you and you know you don't want to do it yourself, you better inspire this nigga. When that nigga wake up in the morning, you better be up before him. You better cook that man son to eat. You better make sure he ain't got to worry about them kids. Because guess what? You know damn well you don't want to get out here and get it. You know damn well you depend on me to get it. But every, cause like nigga, I, like I be telling bitches, it's two type of niggas in this world that's, that's married. You got the nigga that can't wait to go home and you got the nigga that'll do anything 
to keep his ass from going home. <laughs> and the nigga that's ready to go home, it's because soon as he walked through the door, the bitch dolled up. Bitch ain't been nowhere, but she got makeup on. She looking good for him. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The house clean for him. Yeah. The kids, the kid, when he get home, the kid's already in the bed because she ready to suck his dick. Oh, my mama, straight up. You see what I'm saying? Then you got the nigga, man, he'll make up shit in his head to go stop and do. Because yeah. he, he ain't appreciated at home. This bitch just wait for me to come home and give her the money. And I ain't fucking with that. You see what I'm saying? That why I, that's why I carry women the way I do. Man, you got to show me. Because I'm willing to bet a million dollars. I ain't going to never ask you for nothing. And if you disappear out of my life, it ain't going to change. My life ain't going to change. Guess what, though? If I walk away from you, there's a good chance your life going to change. You see what I'm saying? When I met you, bitch, you was in a box. When I met you, bitch, you ain't have not a motherfucking drop of inspiration in you. Not a drop of motivation. You ain't know what you was going to do out here. I gave you all this motivation, inspired you to go get on all this shit. You on top of your shit because of me, bitch. You don't inspire me to do nothing. My life ain't going to change when you disappear, bitch. So what? So who the fuck are you to tell me that I supposed to do this for you? When we separate, because cause that's all it takes all the time, bro. I be telling motherfucker, man, time a motherfucker. Time going to prove everything. When two motherfuckers split up, like, like, I was talking to a bitch one time, and this been my friend for over a decade. So I done seen all her relationships. And she got mad at me one day because I told her some real shit. I say, every nigga that you be with and y'all split up, when I see that nigga, he doing better. You still at your mama house. Your life, your life, your life is still in shambles. Mm -hmm. And when I look at this nigga, it looked like you was holding him back the whole time. Soon as he got away from your ass, his money stacked up, nigga in a new crib, nigga got all this shit going on. You was holding him back. And it's like that with every nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit in school that you don't need. But math, common denominator. That shit there. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But like a lot of niggas, a lot, man, I, I be feeling sorry for niggas when they just, man, she fine. I be like, man, you know how many fine bitches? Boy, if you go get a passport, you go overseas, go get a bitch, look just like her, don't speak no English. Y'all ain't gonna argue about nothing. Can't bitch can't argue about nothing. Jeez. If you take that green card, the bitch, hey, all you gotta do is tell her you gonna take that card from her, the bitch gonna shut up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, like, listen here, young niggas. All niggas. But I like to talk to the young niggas. Let him have the bitch. If you know damn well your life ain't gonna change. If you know damn well this bitch don't change nothing, she's not a factor of nothing. The bitch just really give you some pussy. That's all she do for you, give you some pussy. Let that next nigga have that bitch. Because guess what? Nine times out of ten, if he ain't shit, and this is another thing, too, that bitches don't understand. You Bitches uh, stop fucking with a nigga that do everything that's supposed to be done. Not what you want, but what's needed is done. A bitch will go run across a nigga and be like, and the first thing she say, oh, the nigga just treat me so nice. The nigga just treat me better than you. And when you find out who the nigga is, hell yeah, he nice to you, bitch. He need you. <laughs> <laughs> he needs I don't need you so you damn right I told you bitch get out of my house yeah I don't need you he needs you he gonna be nice as fuck until you tell him no you ain't getting him that PS5 <laughs> then all hell gonna break loose you just gotta you know what I'm saying you gotta know what you pick you know what I'm saying shit it's all about what you pick you know like you say shit motherfucker, motherfucker gotta know what they getting they self into like shit if you getting yourself it, 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 nigga no shit nigga now come on if you see a pile of shit, you know not stepping that shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you ain't just gonna walk right through the shit. Either. You gonna? I mean, I mean you, if you, you see, see it, a pile of shit. Now, if you don't see it, you still step in it. You still gonna step in it. But I'm saying, but if you don't see it, that's a different. That's a that's a whole different ball game. Then, you know what I'm saying? That's how if you don't see it. Cause that mean you know that's just like they, they go they go say uh like Mr. You know, say what, what man. A person don't know kill what can kill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, a person don't know who kill. You know what I'm saying? Shit, a motherfucker can be sitting around the corner, 
with a shotgun. And, and me just walking around the corner, know that Mr. T, they waiting on you around this corner with a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Go this way. Or I, you know what I'm saying? Now, if I done told you that and you still go, that's different. That's on your ass. But if you got a gun and you go around the motherfucking first thing you do is get off on the ass, guess what? That that knowledge leads you, you know what I'm saying, to, to what? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To that, to that, to that victim. Yeah. I mean, that nigga Mister said these hoes don't know shit from gravy. For real, I'm on my own. <laughs> Real shit though. That Real shit though, man. Shit from gravy. <laughs> and, and we ain't and we ain't down in the women and shit. We just, cause I always blame the niggas. But man, y'all choosing this shit. Yeah. Y'all y'all picking this shit. A nigga, a nigga, a nigga don't. Men choose who they marry. That's true. Yeah. But men, when it come to that monogamy shit, that shit made for women. So when they be choosing certain shit, man, you chose that shit. Yeah. A nigga can't make a bitch do shit. Nothing. Really. You know what I'm saying? But women can trick a nigga to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? So Forcefully, I mean, Ken. That's all that I Forcefully, yeah. But then, but then, you know, I, I still blame the women when it come down to, like, you know, niggas beating up, beating their ass and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because shit, I feel like that's something. And look, that's lie. another thing, too. Because I ain't going to lie. I done smacked a bitch before. I have, I have too. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't really be talking about niggas that get into situations and shit. But you put that I don't fuck. I don't fuck. Man, listen. <laughs> I, I tell anybody, nobody can put their fucking hands on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't out here trying to start no fight and shit. But don't put your motherfucking. Don't put your hands, your car, your shoes. Don't put none of that shit on me. Man, Tracy don't told me. me if a woman man enough to hit you. That bitch better be man enough to take what you give her. My mama, my mama say the bitch hit you, put her head between stove and refrigerator. For real. I'm my mama. Hey, that's the way. That's the way I rate, and that's why I tell my daughter. See, I got all the doors. So I say, you know. Oh yeah, that nigga's out here slinging dick. He got all girls. Oh my mama though, straight up though, boy. But I tell him don't hit no, don't hit no little boy though, cause you know what I'm saying, cause you know she. Man, and I, and I only say that because of a little boy gonna hit you. You know what I'm saying? They don't know they shit and shit. Yeah, you know yeah. Just like, just but like, you done been in them situations. You know what I'm saying? A woman hitting on us so much, dog. And, and, and you know, and I know as a man, bro, I sit back, you know what I'm saying? And I'll take a woman doing this here all day long. You can say what you want. So Straight wait, up. I'll yeah, I don't give a fuck. Out. Yeah, I care about that. When, when you come down and grab me on my clothes, putting your hands, I don't like it. I don't like that shit. I would, I don't give a fuck. I would rap the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's just, that's just, that's just, that's just the way I am. Like, if I'm trying to leave, don't go to grabbing on my clothes. Don't go to pushing on me. Don't go to touching me. Like, don't touch me. Don't Good put shit. your hands on me. Uh -huh. like, they ain't touching you. You know what I mean? Don't, don't touch me. Like, that's how it's supposed to be. Because if a woman go to leave and a man is trying to, you know. Even though, you know what I'm saying, sometimes, you know, emotions lead, lead us to feeling like, you know, we got to... Oh, I'd have gra 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 grabbed a bitch and kept her from leaving before. You know what I'm saying? Now, yo, know, all of them did that before, but, you know... It depends on what the situation, situation is. Because if it's a serious situation, all right, you can go. But if you're tripping on some bullshit, yeah. man, bitch, if you don't sit down shut the fuck up. Then sometimes y'all need that separation for that moment. Yeah, it got if it's one of them if it's one of them situations because so it don't lead to that because nigga know, that a nigga hitting you know because like the difference between men and the motherfucking woman is when it comes to the man that's the logic. That's logic. A woman sometimes a man as a man you got to be able to take the I ain't, you can't take out her emotions. But you got to be able to have a, a conversation with her and, and control the situation a certain way. So you got to get her to understand that you tripping. Yeah. This shit ain't even this shit ain't even what you trying to make it out to be. Yeah. Now, if you keep on going, it might escalate to something else. Yeah. You need to chill right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I done been in a situation where a bitch trying to be with some extra shit and not nigga got to grab a hey, man. Listen, hey, chill the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. You trying to make it something. I'm finna roll this weed, we finna smoke this weed, and we finna chill out watch this motherfucker move. What you trying to do that extra shit? Yeah. It, nigga ain't with that. Nah. Yeah, see, see, nigga ain't with that. That's, that's one thing that's wrong with a lot of black, black women. They think these days, especially these days, they think being toxic is the shit. Man, they think it ain't even about being toxic. Most women don't even understand that 
You know how they always try to use the word toxic masculinity on us? Yes. They the ones be doing that shit. Yes, man. Like, bitch, bitch, you think you can beat me up? I done, I done been with bitches that think they can beat me up. They don't even know my brother a boxing trainer. This nigga got my hands right. You think you can beat me up, bitch? Like, you tripping. It'd have been time I had to kick a bitch out the house. Like, you, you think you finna fight me in here? I don't feel like calling the police today, bitch. You gotta go. Never. I can't be nobody punching back. Cause nigga, fuck with my baby mama one time. Nigga, my baby mama hit me in the face hard in the bitch. I threw some headphones up. I was hooking up the cable. We just got cable. And she's here, she's sitting here trying to tell me how to hook up the the cable. I'm like, bitch, if you knew how to hook up the cable, bitch, you'll be doing it. I so I told the bitch, I say, man, shut the fuck up. She said, no, you shut the fuck up. I threw the headphone. Threw the headphones at her ass, right? I needed the headphones. I was using the headphones. I was listening to some music. I get something nigga to go back to get the headphones. I guess she thought I was trying to fight with her. She turned around and bow. I said, man, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but that situation right there, that's the first time I ever been hit that hard by a woman. By a woman. And I was like, no lie. I was like, dog, if she would if she would have hit me two more times like that, I probably would have been on the floor, cuz. <laughs> if she would have leaned into my she shit two more times. A nigga probably been all in the closet. Yeah, like, oh, I was like, nah, you know what? For hey, now on. Man, <laughs> and like my baby, my baby mama country as hell. She from the country. She from Holland. And she stocky. You said she from Holland? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, 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 yeah she, she, nigga, she hit a nigga so hard. Bow. My Bolo was there. Bolo was laughing like a motherfucker. Bolo was like, ooh, shit. <laughs> I'm going outside. I'm but look, she hit a nigga hard. Boom. I'm talking about nigga. I had a hole in my mouth and everything. I had a big ass hole. But that situation right there let me know, man, a bitch could have knocked my ass out if she would have leaned into a nigga with like two, three more. But, but just, 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 just imagine being hit like that, and then when a nigga come with that reflex, mm -hmm. well, I don't feel like a man a bitch ass nigga, I don't feel like a man is... Nah, I couldn't do no reflex though, I threw the headphones like that. Yeah. And hit her dead in the head too. Yeah. But um, her head big as shit, I so... Yeah, just run up and beat like, the bitch yeah, up. Now, now see, that nah. shit right there, that shit right there, that's, that's shit I don't respect right there. Nigga don't like that shit. Like, nah, nah, now if you, now if you done been put in a situation, bro, to, to be, you know what I'm saying, to have to, you know, like I say, hey, man, the majority of the times I didn't, I didn't, you know what I'm saying, I didn't had to touch a female, you know what I'm saying, and I ain't gonna say it done been one or twice, I, I'm gonna say it been a few times. <laughs> it, it done been because of, you know what I'm saying, a situation when a nigga trying to remove theyself, it's been to putting your hands on it. It's been, a, you know what I'm saying, rather it's the grabbing, rather it's the punching, rather it's, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, throwing something at a nigga. Yeah, you know, throwing shit. Like, shit. That. like, I don't think it's, if I'm trying to get myself up out of here right now, it's for the, you know, protect this from happening. Because I know how far, you know, I'm going to take some shit. Because, like, know, nigga, it, as a female, nigga. That's, I, that's another thing I had on the list, too, nigga. Like, women don't know how to communicate. Nah. Like, it's been, situa it's been situations with me because I'm an intellectual nigga. Like how I'm sitting here talking on this podcast, nigga can talk for three hours. We've been sitting there bitch talking for three hours. Yeah. A nigga can talk. So like I get into it with a bitch, right? And the bitch thinking she can go toe to toe to me verbally. And then I read the bitch her rights and she understand that she can't, she can't do that with me. Yeah. For some reason, bitches always result to just hitting a nigga. Yeah. Like when they can't, when they can't go back and forth with you and, and comprehend and and have that conversation, it's like they just flash out the hit a nigga. That's a threat. It, it's it's, it's because I said though, no, I said I tell no. niggas a lot. Women, women, men are logical thinkers, women are creatures of emotion. Yeah. Really? At, at at that point they defeated, they tap into their feelings. Yes. They they, they like, respond with emotion. I I'd be like, man, what the fuck, my nigga? Like women, women, if you ever notice That's women, why a woman women, can't women be scared, in charge. Yeah, women women's scared of niggas that are that uh intellectually inclined. Yeah. yeah. Like like if you if you got if, if you can think outside the box, bro, if you can if you if you smart than a motherfucker, bro, like no matter where they no matter where it, it area it is, if you can tell they as more than they know about it, they feel threatened. Man, I yeah. say I say this all the time and bitches get mad when I say this, man. These bitches need pimps. Yes. For real. Because they they they, they dad is in shit one there. 
So they they don't know, like I said, they don't know how to conduct themselves amongst men, or they don't know. They had to learn how to use a pussy. A nigga always know how to use their dick for purpose. Facts. Like honestly, like a, a, a man, nigga, we knew we had dick, so we knew we had to stand up. We knew we had to, you know, we knew we had to do it. The motherfucker, yeah. a woman had to be taught how to, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they, you know, excuse me when for saying this, but they have periods and everything. You know what I'm saying? So a woman had to be taught how to use their pussy. They, they had to know how to keep, you know, mm -hmm. hygiene. You gotta mm -hmm. make sure the motherfucker ain't, you know what I'm saying, smell mm -hmm. a bit of the motherfucker. And you gotta know, you know what I'm saying, shit, what side dick you can take. A man didn't have to be taught to do nothing but empty. That's another thing I wanted to talk about too, because this seemed to be uh, like a hot topic. I was talking to that nigga Corey about this shit. Well, before we was recording, we ain't talk about it on the podcast. Just a conversation we was having. Because bitches like to talk about this. I see this on Facebook all the time. Bitches always want to blame they ex for their pH balance being off. Why women do that? Man. It's like they want to put it off on niggas so bad. They're like, no, that's your pussy. Even if a nigga came to you and skeeted some bad shit in you, you let him do it. Women don't realize it's taking care of yourself. Yeah, yeah like, like. Did y'all know, like, what can throw a woman P.A.'s bad love is something that they eat? Yeah. And that's why that's I said, what I be telling bitches I say, all the time. Your, your diet can fuck that up. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? If you take care look, of yourself, you look, work out, you eat right. Look, Sean, remember the time the bitch got mad at me because I ain't want to eat her pussy? Yeah. Why would I eat that? My nigga. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It ain't, it, ain't that, it ain't mad a nigga don't eat no pussy. I ain't eating yours. Yours. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's what, it's what you put in your body, man. Yeah, like for real. Like, on oh, my mom, like, see, cause, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, niggas can, niggas can net in, you know, a certain reason, but, like, 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 what females don't understand is, niggas can tell when you didn't fuck somebody else. Oh my God. Like, oh right, yeah. Brother, you go use the apple cider vent. Listen, pH balance is a motherfucker. It ain't even about the pH balance on that one, cause, listen. If you, if, I, I explain this to bitches all the time. <laughs> that pocket. This, that pocket. That pocket. It's a pocket. pocket. If, if I put my hands in my goddamn pocket, and I know I got three quarters in here. It's a certain mold in my pocket. <laughs> if I reach into my fucking pocket, and my three quarters ain't there, and my fucking hand don't fit. Like, it's always been fitting for five years. <laughs> Somebody done been, get your hands out my pocket. Somebody had their hands. In my pocket. No facts. Look, I never get one time I was fucking a bitch. I ain't stopped fucking her or nothing. I was fucking a bitch. I was like, ooh, somebody been in here in the middle of fucking. And she was like, <laughs> she she instantly got on the defense. That's how I knew she was fucking a nigga. And I was like, hold on, bitch, let me finish. I ain't tripping. <laughs> I just I just <laughs> I just want I just want you to understand that I know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But guess what though? I also know this ain't my pussy. Yeah. It's yours. You know, so let me finish. Then we can talk about it. I'm up, I'm up. You see what I'm saying? Like, 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 and that's with any woman. Even with, even if, even if, I, I ain't gonna say marriage. Like, I feel like marriage is a whole different sacred thing. But, like, if you just fucking with a woman, bro, you gotta expect her. You know what I'm saying? Even if you married, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, because marriage ain't, you know, I'm marriage ain't. I feel like, I feel like married people cheat more than yeah. people in regular relationships. Because, look. Look, it's let's say, to get let's out say, that let's, you want. yeah, let's say a bitch, mar right. let's say a bitch marry a nigga that don't please her sexually. Let's say she married this nigga strictly off business. She eventually want to get pleased Please sexually, sexual. yeah. and she know this nigga can't do it, and she ain't finna divorce the nigga because they fuck up her business. Yeah. It's easier for her to just go get another dick. Man, I heard a, I heard a, I heard a woman, a woman say out her own fucking mouth, the man that she married, what she. The man that she married didn't please her sexually, but she wasn't gonna let a good man get away. Nah, yeah, yeah, that's fucked up. yeah. That's what they be doing, yeah, though, fool. That's, like, that's what they be doing. Like women, women really, 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 man, this shit is a business. That, that right there, that right there is what. That's what niggas fall victim for. You be seeing niggas shooting bitches and hey, all that shit. It be hey. shit, like, man, bitch. Why? Cause it don't even. Cause nigga, it don't be about the money. About why the money. fuck you waste my time like this, yeah. bitch? Like, you know a nigga a good nigga. I could have been over here with a good bitch. Yeah, with a bitch that don't mind about a big dick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. I'm being honest. Right. 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 But it come down to, man, what, what y'all had these hoes post on Facebook all day? Even though half of them, yeah, half of y'all can't even take big dick. Hell nah. I'm finna say it. With half of the posts, 
be about what though? Niggas having big dicks. You know what? I don't want a nigga. You know, I don't want no nigga with no. But damn. You get one on my swear to God, the bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The bitch just one ready. You're crazy. You go crazy over here. Yeah. You want to yeah. kill me now. You want to run me over with calls. You want to <laughs> stop this house that I'm in. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You, call, you, you know what I'm saying? You call them different people. Like, man, I uh, don't. Me, me personally, and it's just, I don't understand women. Look, I do. Listen, let me tell y'all young niggas something. Y'all got to pay attention to the hoes that y'all make calm. Listen to me. 90% of niggas can't make a whole calm. So when you run, so nigga, if you a nigga out here. This nigga told me, I'm sorry. Run it, man, run it. Just fuck me up. Run it. It's a, it's a dude told me he never had a bitch skirt. I say, cool. Damn the, everything out of touch. Squirt, bro. I hate that squirt shit. But I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying they go back. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm but they don't though. Like, yeah, like, like, shit. like don't. niggas don't niggas don't know. Niggas be thinking they be killing the pussy, yeah. and that's really all you be doing. You ain't giving the bitch no pleasure. You literally killing the yeah. pussy. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? They go back to what you were saying. They go back because, like I say, females talk about big dicks and little dicks, this and that. So a woman want. A big dick, you want small dick? Because I seen a girl on on a post say something. Well, I done had a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Dick that was small and shit. It felt good to me, you know what I'm saying? It made me come. But then, you know, you get hoes that say with well, shit. Just give me a big dick. I make myself come. I mean, I don't understand like when when it come down to that. When it when it come down to that, like, do you want a nigga that's finna make your ass lay down on a bed and and die somewhere? Or do you want a nigga that just gonna you know make it make it? You know what I'm saying? Man, look. Most they, of them bitches on Facebook be faking anyway. Well, just, anyway. Man, these hoes don't know what they want. Exactly. Ho don't know what she want. Because, nigga. <laughs> they put that shit on Facebook. Everything they put on Facebook is because so it, it's, it's, it's popular right. opinion. So yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. popular yeah. opinion. That's right. right. And really, when it comes to sex and women, when it comes to sex and women, it don't even matter about the size of you your dick. It's, the only thing that matter is if this hoe is attached and in love with you. That bitch will come off that. Yeah. You ain't even hitting that spot. Yeah. You ain't even working that clit like it's supposed to be worked. The bitch just in love with you. And when and, 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 and you touch the bitch. You and you know when that shit. you know when that bitch gone. When that bitch head gone and her mind gone. Man, that that, that pussy ain't the same. I I I test that pussy bitches, don't hit the I test same. bitches all the time, bro. I be having this nigga laughing at me when I talk about it. I'm a small nigga. When a bitch come through, you know what I'm saying? I test where a bitch at. You know, so I ain't I ain't never the aggressor when it comes to sex. Yeah. Never. I go in that motherfucker, I get out the shower and shit. You know what I'm saying? I lay in the motherfucker bed and I just lay there. Yeah. I just lay there, watch TV. Bitch be sitting over there looking at me like, damn, this nigga ain't tripping. No, bitch. I bet you suck my dick. You, I, I bet you finna come suck my dick. I bet you put your hands on me before I put my hands on you. Yeah. And what they say is what I be telling niggas all the time. Oh man, I ain't man, I'm just gonna woo do woo do. I say, no, you gotta test the bitch. Cause and guess you know if if the bitch too. If the bitch, if the bitch is the aggressor when it come to sex, she really like you. Yeah. Yeah, if you yeah. gotta be the aggressor all the time, it's probably she just probably just giving you some pussy so you can shut up. Yeah. But if she the aggressor, she wanna fuck you. But see, the thing is, you got these women too, though. Because I didn't been asked this question. You know what I'm saying? Well, why you didn't? You know why you didn't act like you? You know what I'm saying? You were in like, but damn. If I if I come at it too strong, you gonna be like, oh, all a nigga wanted was some pussy. Mm hmm. Which maybe that was the case, mm -hmm. but y'all be women be warm sex just like niggas be. Warm. Yeah, look, man. But a lot look. of time, what we fuck up at now is we would tell these women, you know what I'm saying. A lot of time, niggas get, you know what I'm saying, these women heads into their love shit. Man, but a lot of women be warm that dick. Look, I'm gonna tell you, yo, I'm gonna tell you, cuz big facts, nigga. When you when when a woman agreed to to give you her number, this bitch know I've dumped. I'm going to fuck this nigga. Mm -hmm. If you don't get the pussy, you played yourself out that pussy. Mm -hmm. You didn't talk to yourself about the pussy, so you did some clown mm -hmm. shit that make her not want to fuck you. Because mm -hmm. she know off dump, I want to fuck this nigga. Mm -hmm. Just like you know, hey, man, I, I want to fuck this bitch. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's mutual. A pussy get hot just like a dick get hot. I swear mm -hmm. to God. When, 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 if, you, if you start talking to a bitch and you don't fuck her, you did that. Mm -hmm. Real shit. <laughs> hey man, we'll we take another break. Oh, oh, this shit is a wrap. Shit, we, wrap. we three hours in. Yeah, man. T the fucking main podcast, man. I got my nigga Main Main in here. Man, I'm
Huh? Got my nigga Swisher Sweet in this motherfucker. Mr. Sky Street. Got Boss Man in this bitch. Book a session. Book a session, man. Get your hands right. I know y'all always be hearing me talk about these motherfucking hands. Holler at my nigga Boss Man. Yeah. Stay ready. If you need a trainer to get in there, for real though, he'll get you right, kid. Oh Real God! Shit. And I got my nigga Sean Dunn Perry on this motherfucker. Man, you niggas already know it. Yeah, man, we finna get out this bitch, man. And uh, so all the young motherfuckers, please pay attention to what the fuck we talking about. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't trying, we ain't trying to run no game. We just giving it. You know what I'm talking about? It's all up to you to pick it up, though. It's all up to you. All right, man, we gonna get up out there. <laughs> Next on this motherfucking man, though. Shout out to her. Who got next on this man? Shout out to Thompson Touch. T-shirts and mowing sheet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, they straight. Yeah, they straight. H O M P S O N. Yeah, T O U C H. Yeah, T H O M P S O N T O U C H. Yeah, T H O M P S O N. Yeah, T H O M P S O N. Yeah, T H O M P S O N. Yeah, T H O M P S O N. I got this, I think. Thompson Touch, T-shirts and more. You can hit them up on Facebook. Thompson Touch, T-shirts and more. 318-834-8013. Yeah, nigga, right, right, yeah. Yeah, that's Yeah, some over there. The car from Hollywood, some shit like that. Yeah, but they, yeah, worldwide shipping. You see that? Worldwide shipping. Yeah, yeah, don't hit, yeah, don't hit them. Yeah, don't hit them. Yeah, don't hit you holding it too long now. Yeah, Thompson Touch, T-shirts, Mo. Yeah, you can hit them up on Facebook. They right there in 318. Yeah, 834. No, 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 no. 318-834-8013. 318-834-8013. Yeah, we go back. Yeah, go and go back. I know you can spell.